And I'm Joshua. And we're your boobays. Bays. Boobays. Mm-hmm. We are your booby bays. Yes. Um, so we are your horror loving fantastic duo. Horror loving fantastic duo, spooktacular, spookalicious time. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's just the word that's used in there. I love uh, the way you say it. Spookalicious. Mm. On the oof. It's like oof. emphasis. <laughs> I'm like choking. Like you're like y- you're about to get murdered and you're like oh, and your yeah. life flashes before your eyes. I was just never mind. Mm-hmm, I was going to mm-hmm, say it's not mm-hmm, appropriate mm-hmm. either. Um, My but mind's yeah. in trash. Today. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't have you any other way. Thank you. Yeah. Do you see my lip? What happened? Lip filler? Oh, I'm nice. kidding. No. Oh. <laughs> There's just like, it's a little. I was like, like what a weird. I was yeah. like, maybe just the injection side is swollen. No, yeah. It's just like a little. No, like, stop squeezing it. It hurts me for you. No, well, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. It's just for some reason, like came about like i thought it was just like a reaction to like the lip gloss i was using mm-hmm. maybe but i don't know i figured it out mm. but i feel it so it feels a little funny oh, i didn't even notice yeah now right I see it mm, stared at it <laughs> um, um anyways so today if you yeah if you haven't figured out we're gonna cover scream five scream five uh five five cream, cream. <laughs> yeah that's what the, i like to call it yeah five we're cream. all about creamy here um yep yeah. And we so uh, we're going to be talking about the fifth installment in the Scream uh, franchise. saga franchise. Yeah. Um, uh, which it's I'm excited to talk about. Yeah. I just I, watched it over the weekend. I think we got a. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ish. I saw it. I saw it Saturday. I say weekend, but I saw it Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Your weekend. Yeah, my yeah, weekend. Because you're off on Monday. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I saw it Saturday at 1 p.m. Mm. Matinee. Love uh, a good matinee. With my old horror movie bud, Ryan. Shout out to Ryan. He's He was always the person who would go with me to watch horror films because, well, Other no, that no one else in our horror movies. lives yeah. liked them. So, yeah. like, his uh, now fiance, congrats to my old podcast host, Megan, um, on What's Your Excuse? Yay. Oh, yeah. And Ryan, they are now engaged. Mm-hmm. Um but she hates horror films. So mm, okay, gotcha. She, well, she's she's really just she's not a fan of anything that could invite something into her. Like yeah, you know, yeah. When you're opening up yourself your to psyche, that kind of world, like yeah. it, a lot of people believe that it allows like other things to mm-hmm. enter. And you know, yeah, I get it. You know, so, influence is big. And I mean, honestly, what are the screen movies about? Is the movies influence? influence. That's right. Yeah. Um, this movie especially. But I honestly had a great time watching it. Uh, that Cinemark is just so nice now. Y'all. Oh, it's Sponsor really nice. Sponsor Cinemark. Get Waco a, Cinemark. Yes, get us sponsored. Please <laughs> go to the Waco Cinemark. That thing um, is nice. The way recliners. I dropped AMC so fast. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Literally. Wait, oh, fuck. Oh AMC does shutter. Yeah. Uh, my okay. friend my friend the other day said um, uh, AMC had to walk so that Cinemark could run. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Man, um, remember when it was just Starbucks? Shout out though? to Sadie. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, for real. But... and. Anyways, yeah, it's a nice theater. If you want to go watch this movie, I suggest to go there. Yeah, it was it pretty was dope. Rather enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I don't want to say the boo rating yet, but um, no, yeah, we'll get there. But I, I think myself. we need to go and full think, spoiler. Well, yeah, by let's the go way, full spoiler. Like, that's that's what yeah. we do. If you're listening to this episode, hopefully you've already seen the movie. Or, or okay, yeah. So if you want to get into it and know if like you'd want to go see it, we'll tell pause you. now. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you still want to go see it and you don't want us to spoil Mm -hmm. it for you, pause right now. Go book your ticket at Cinemark Waco. And then come back to it the very second. At uh, whatever. We're about like four minutes and 20 seconds Mm -hmm. in. So come back and uh, you've you've been warned now. So if you're ready for spoilers, see if you like it. Cool. Um, But from four minutes and 30 seconds on, it's spoiler Spoiler hour, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to spoil. We're coming in like some spoiled milk. I don't, I don't know. Going out? Uh, yeah. But, mm, that's not a phrase. Um, some chunky milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Very that. All um, right. So um, that's horrifying in itself. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So spoilers all the way. Um, 
Okay, I just uh, did your trailers have mm. any horror films? Actually, no. Just, yeah, I was like, I don't think typically they tailor them, but yeah, I guess that's just no. It was like out. a a lot of like two rom coms and like mm-hmm. uh, yeah, oh. that marry me one looks dumb as. Fuck. Channing Tatum has a lot of work going right now because oh, he was like yeah. in two of the previews. I'm like, okay, collect your oh, checks. Yeah. And so did that other guy who was in. Mm. He oh. was in two previews back to back. I don't mm. know, but that like moon landing one or moonfall. Mm. He was the main guy in it, but then he was like a side guy in one of the movies previews right before. Oh, okay. And no. at first I made a joke. I was like, is that the same guy? And then right because he just looks like your kind of basic white dude. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't know. know. I was um, and Ryan was like, "Oh yeah, he's actually getting." By the time I had right got now. there, I missed a couple previews because I was getting soda mm. from the concessions. Um, yeah, I actually bought candy this time. Yeah, I just feel like I don't know why. Every time I watch a movie in the theater, like I just want like something a, a root beer. Oh, yeah. I also bought I a water bottle. Want a root beer because oh, I am just not a fan of root beer. I'm but so I support your life you. choices. <laughs> um, I had to get one of those fat ass Dasani's because mm. I was. Hung the fuck over from mm. our scream of fun. Gotcha. <laughs> slash birthday party for me that yeah. we had on Friday night. Which was so much fun. It was so much fun. Uh, we will, obviously we'll give y'all more heads up than we did last time. Yeah. <laughs> but we, we want to do more kind of street s- streamings like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, screenings, screenings. Screenings. Like that in the future. Screamings. Screamings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're definitely going to plan ahead and have some things lined up so we can enjoy some movies together yeah yeah and talk about them together because mm-hmm. it's it's, just it's fun. fun when y'all message us and tell us about it in person but like or like you know when you see one of us but i feel like i'd love for us to mm-hmm. have a whole well, we literally discussion. just like screened it on a big projector screen and like we were literally just all talking and like commentating, and, and commentating on, the on the movie and like having a good time like it was serious yeah. and so if you hate people who talk in the movies maybe don't show up but like it's it's like a time and place a, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, it's like that's the yeah, whole reason we why we're there. In theater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were here to just have a fun time, and yeah, honestly, it was so great. And uh, but I was so fucking hungover because mm-hmm. I, I was also out of my sleeping medication, so I just like didn't sleep. Yeah. I called a friend and talked his ear off for like mm. an hour and a half after everyone left my place. Okay. And then. I think yeah, I was I mean, still that probably was a lot of finishing wine. So yeah. I was you were ready to carry oh, all I, night. I was. I woke mm-hmm. up at eleven and then was like, "Fuck." Mm-hmm. Choices. Oh. Yeah, because I was crossfit. Choices. And oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> my dad on Happy Sunday. Birthday. My dad on Sunday goes, "Who is that one guy in your video that just looked gone?" And I was uh. like, "That would be our friend." I don't know if I can say his name on here, but oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, wait, was it me? No. Was I the drama? I remember. It now. wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, Josh is seasoned. He he yeah. looks normal. Like yeah. just, like right now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he basically just looks the same as always because well he functions like that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, um, anyways. Yeah. So we got us to sell the movie about Scream again back here. Um so I just like Really loved the opening. Well, we're going to get into it, right? Mm-hmm. The opening sequence um, with Tara and, like, the, f- like, basically paying homage to the opening of the original Scream, mm-hmm. which a lot of this whole movie does running throughout it the whole entire movie. does a solid job of going right back to the original. Which literally. Um, which is what the whole movie is about. Mm-hmm. And I really enjoyed that detail. And I really, like, felt like it was giving me something, like, new, but old at the same time mm-hmm. very something familiar but like with a whole new twist to it i i loved it first off tara fantastic jenna actress. ortega yeah she was amazing ortega, she was really great this yeah. scene i mean at the beginning i was kind of like eh. like i wasn't like completely sold with her acting mm. but once she's in the hospital and on mm-hmm. i was like oh damn like this girl's good yeah because she's got that one scene where she's yelling at her sister and she's like no fuck you yeah or something like that for her to leave yeah, yeah because of mm-hmm. and i was like oh shit I was like, okay tired. little i mean i don't know how old she is but she looks small uh she's in a, she's like a teen actress yeah okay I yeah i was she's like that old. Yeah. hey go little go little girl mm-hmm. go little rock star um so yeah it was really i really enjoyed it even from the get-go because it's like how are we saying playing on the old but like you have like I love how the phone rings, right? Mm-hmm. And she doesn't answer it at first. I was also like, 
Cause that's they have like, a landline. <laughs> well, also same, right? Because it's like at this point, a lot of people don't have those anymore. It's just mm-hmm. cell phones. But for the sake of purposes, of maybe I guess they did. Yeah, they kind of needed it. They, yeah, exactly. But, but it I also did just, like it, how there was two and, phones. And, and actually, there are people who still have. Oh yeah, landlines, I mean they're not obsolete. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, bring. But it takes it there. I love that she didn't answer it though, because mm-hmm. it's like nowadays, it's like who does that? No, if you don't yeah. know a number, because it said literally a unknown caller, you'd, you'd let like, that shit go to voicemail. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry to you if you're in a dire emergency and you need me to, <laughs> you're calling me from some random phone number. I, I, I probably pick won't pick up, but leave, leave a, a voicemail. voicemail. I'll check it immediately. I'll usually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I determine. That's why I say in my voicemail, just leave me a voicemail and I'll get right back to you. Yeah. Like deliberately screening my phone Unless calls. you are a person I'm not going to get back to. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> um so yeah 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 so i just really like that i liked how when they were on the phone she was on the phone with ghostface he's talking to her about movies and at this point they're able to reference like all these newer movies they really the spit Duke. off some yeah um what else was it made there? me want to go watch Duke again yeah was which like, was our so- second main character's favorite movie mm-hmm. Jen, uh tara mm-hmm. um but yeah i loved how she was mentioning that and he's kind of going hereditary hereditary and i was she, like yeah! they're, they're going back and forth and <laughs> He's like, oh, but those aren't as good as like you know a good like slasher or something like that. And she's just teach like, her own. Yeah, and exactly. And she was just saying how like no, it's like elevated horror. So I loved how they commentated on that. Mm-hmm. Um, that there are different kinds of horror. Like yes, the Scream franchise is not it's not scary. It's it's a slasher. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, it is like if that was in that situation, yes, one hundred and ten percent would not be chill. Yeah, but like they're not. Which is what I. I like for for me personally is what the screen movies do for me is like I do feel like if I were in that situation or put myself in Sydney's shoes or whatever and like this killer keeps coming back and back like mm-hmm. that's some fucking wild shit that is yeah. yes oh a hundred percent and um it's kind of like the strangers like mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. love that movie one of my favorite horror movies too I love that and film as well because it also Very makes good. you it at the end like even back then when it came out it was like oh six or whatever mm-hmm. um you you just feel like. Like, this could really happen. Like, someone could just literally Anyone walk up be. in my home. I, I'll i save that story for when I when yeah, we cover when that we cover film. That, yeah. But I have, like, yeah. uh, an instance where, yeah, I was midway watching it. I got freaked the fuck out. Mm-hmm. And so I will say this film did lead to a, I feel like, it gave me a lot of new <laughs> stuff to be paranoid <laughs> about. <laughs> I was like, yeah, ah, we already know that I'm a big proponent for Lock Your Doors. But And I think I mentioned previously in one of the episodes about Screams in the trailer, I was like, I've already seen Smart yep. House. Like, I know With how those electronic, lock. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like, I don't trust that shit. I think it's a wonderful feature mm-hmm. for when, yes, you're in an emergency and you do need to lock all of your doors at once. Mm-hmm. But, A, okay, I'd already have all of them locked. This is not a problem. Yeah. They're already locked. Because you're Caitlin. They're going to yes. be locked. <laughs> They're going to be locked. No one getting in my house ever. <laughs> and then B, like, that's just terrifying. Apparently, it's relatively easy to hack mm-hmm. shit. I get, yeah. Yeah. Or, like, people just, like, watch some YouTube videos on it and they can mm-hmm. hatch it. And so. I'm sure. I, I don't know. Like, that's just the idea of that is very And if someone wants unsettling. to do something badly enough, like a killer would, they would find a way to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gonna, I mean, um, yeah, if I'm so going to die, yeah. I'm going to die regardless, probably. But mm-hmm. if someone's trying to kill me, they would probably succeed. Yeah. Did you notice that Jenna was also wearing, like, a similar outfit to, like, Casey? Like, it was, like, that tan kind of sweater. Oh. Wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, I guess I thought it was more of a pink. It might have been more pinkish. But, like... But it was the the style of it. Yeah, yeah, the style of it really gave me like, oh wow, they're really trying to play like Mm -hmm. play it back to that. Um, And so yeah, and then her whole whenever, (laughs) you know, there's that whole situation where they're going back and forth between like unlocking and locking the door. Oh Uh, yeah, that's brutal. And then because the anticipation, there's already blood on the screen, right? Because she had opened the door, opened the door, and and he he slashed her. Yeah, got her in the the tummy. Tummy that looked like a really deep cut. Yeah, the the practical effects in this movie were really good. They were, except for one part. Well, mm-hmm. practical. Sorry, mm-hmm. you said practical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, it's not practical. Mine. Okay. Okay. There's one thing I didn't like. We'll get to it. And then, um, so, yeah, she's, like, doing that, and then finally she gets the phone call again, and he says something like, you know, are you sure I didn't get in before you locked the doors again? And mm-hmm. then, bam, she gets attacked. He, she, he said, how long do you think it took? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do of you this think, line, yeah. of that essence. So, um, also, sorry, y'all, <laughs> in the event that you didn't get this from the beginning, normally we have 
pretty detailed notes we take. Mm -hmm. But we are not those assholes who are going to pull out our phones in the middle of the theater and take notes. And then it's a theater. It's way too fucking dark to see pen and paper in there. Yeah. Especially during a horror film. Like, (laughs) everything's dark. Very that. And And then the phone was too bright. So I got a few things in. But then at some point, I was like, okay, I can't do this. I just didn't even try. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Mm, we're going to remember it. Hopefully. Um, Yeah. I know my ending takeaway, and I know how I feel about it as a whole. Yeah. So if we miss some things. And we're going to leave some. And that way, and also I kind of like that idea, too, because we might hit, like, some main parts of this. But, like, we're not telling you this movie play by play. Mm-hmm. So there's still a lot of things that you're going to, like. For you to discover. It, and enjoy on your own without, like, being like, oh, well, I already heard about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah. just kind of like the major points. But yeah, so the whole opening scene, though, with him attacking her mm-hmm. or they attacking whoever was behind that situation. Yeah. Um, we'll just refer to Ghostface as they yeah, from now on they up them. until. And then we'll give you maybe a reveal at the end. We'll see mm-hmm. if we want to. But because I think we can yeah, talk about we it. Can, I'm, we're going to. I also would like to say from the get, I had the two Ghostface penned perfectly. Yeah. I knew immediately. I was like, it's that motherfucker and it's that motherfucker. And then there were some other times where I was like, mm, okay, maybe, maybe this person. But like the whole time I was like, nah, my gut feels right. Uh-huh. Liter- like we'll get to him in a second. But I love that. Uh, I mean, uh, I was I was shocked. I told Ryan as we were leaving, I was like, I never, ever, ever get the killers right. The, I was like, I told him that's like the whole first movie, even watching it again, I suspected Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> He really plays that don't know what I'm doing yeah. character bit pretty good. In and that so one. I was like, it's fucking And so we realized that's his character. Yeah, and then he's just is. But Dewey, like, yeah. I was like, these films do a fantastic job of making me really, really, really think it is Who everyone. It? And then maybe it's just because I'm so fresh with it right now because mm-hmm. we've watched all four yeah. in the coming weeks um, that I was able to kind of see their plots mm-hmm. and stuff. But it's like layers upon, it's like a cake, mm-hmm. Scream is. Yes. Like, honestly, and yeah. the layers of which they build upon because they all call back to the previous movies mm-hmm. um, in, in some way, yes. you know? And so, it's yeah. It's really amazing. Like, I still just to this day cannot get it's over It's a whole universe. Meta and how perfectly, they, like, Metaverse. there's just no really plot holes. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I love, I love it. And, ugh. Anyways, back to the opening. Even as, like... Maybe some people might, because I know like there's some sort of some some people who think like it's kind of absurd, like the way they mm-hmm. might go back, like your, with Scream Three or something like that, how they kind of like. But I think that's but, what makes it but, amazing, and it's the way that I can understand th- their viewpoint. Yeah, I s- understand the viewpoint, but you can't say that they don't do a good job of threading it all together. Yeah, because it makes sense. Yeah, like and it, like, like yeah. again, tightly woven blanket. Mm-hmm. This shit ain't got no holes in it. Yeah, it's good. Um, so anyways, yeah. once he gets in after he says that little line and he's like, Dunk! you know, and they yeah. start fighting and it gets pretty bloody. Oh, he when is he, she stabbing kicks him. the crap out of her. He is. I was shocked that she uh, survived alert, is alive. Mm-hmm. Um, but damn, when he fucking snapped her, they snapped her leg. I'm going to imagine it was probably <gasps> him since yeah. she was filming. What's yeah. her face? Uh-huh. But that could have been a pre-recorded video. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but he. Mm, yeah, mm. it was pretty brutal. He really that was a nasty like, snap. S- snapped her leg. It gave me some her saw vibes. Came out. When her, didn't mm-hmm. it, hadn't they already shit on saw at this? No, I'm sorry. That was, that was four. That was four. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, but yeah. Hey, maybe. I mean, it's still there. Another it's all in the same. Back. Uh-huh. But yeah, her bone literally like broke out of her skin. Mm-hmm. Brutal. Damn, you could he, tell she was in so much pain. And then she's trying to crawl away, and it's the way that, like, he's just brutally stabbing her. Yeah, um, and I guess maybe it was before he snapped her ankle she had kicked him or something. Mm-hmm. I love, and it was in the trailer. This part was in the trailer, mm-hmm. but where he stands up, and you're getting the view in between the, I guess, I'm assuming it's, like, the kitchen island and yeah. the counter. Mm-hmm. and his head's cocked, and the way he stands up, like, that is menacing. Yeah. It is terrifying. If It's like looking at prey. Yeah, and mm-hmm. even... Even in that moment, I was like, like, it kind of gave me chills. I was like, oh, Same. shit. Okay. Um, a lot of that's the, pretty fucking. Most of the deaths. It was a good shot. And most of the deaths in this video, in this one, too, um, minus the one with the dude at the car, but we'll talk about that. Oh, yeah. Because uh, that was kind of really quick. Gave me, like, uh, not like more gory or anything like that, although there was a substantial amount of blood, but like, yeah. just gave me, like, the this killer, they, these killers to me were like, 
killing in a way, the, a little theatrical, and in a way that like the other killers didn't. Like to me, like it was very like it just seems so dark sided mm-hmm. in a way. It is. Where, it like, was twisted. Yeah, and yeah. clearly these people were unhinged. Yeah. Like, like uh, and then really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was like the uh, like true serial killers. Like they got mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. on this not just for like even really like a vendetta or revenge or anything like yeah, that like they other were just like, movies they mm-hmm. just literally f- were crazy mm-hmm. yeah and they met yeah mm-hmm. anyways we'll get to that and so yeah so yeah, that all happens with little tara um he stabs her a lot and then then it goes title, right to scream yeah scream just like all the other movies and, and it, then, d- it slashed it uh-huh. slashed it in right it slashed it in yeah it was good i was like i i think i went okay yeah i like that mm-hmm. me too same. A little bit out loud. Because, like, I mean, <laughs> I am still one of those people who, like, a little bit will kind of... I'm not completely silent in a theater. Yeah. But I'm not talking loud to where people yeah. are going to, like... Really like, to yourself or to your friend. Yeah, right yeah. next to you. Mm-hmm. Like, mm, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And I feel like in horror films, more people do kind of talk anyways. Because mm-hmm. most of the time, they're already screaming. You're reacting so. to something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and once again, I mean, the center mark is pretty big and spacious, so you yeah, really, we were spaced out. Unless people were like right next to you to the side in your same row, like you're not hearing anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, we get to. I think then it's what we get to meet Sam, mm-hmm. and uh, it's she's gets she's she's well, at her job. She's at her job. She's outside the bowling alley, taking some pills. Yeah, probably for some psych- antipsychotic is what it is. I yes. Believe. Yeah. And so, which uh, we find out a little bit more later, later. but clearly yeah. she's on some sort of medication. And so uh, then her boyfriend comes out, which is Richie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She's played by Jack Quaid, and he, it, Dennis Quaid's son. If oh, you know that. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. I see it now in the face. And so, um, and his facial expressions, mm-hmm. like the way he moved his mouth, and like, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's the way he makes a little boner jerk. Well, she makes the. The boner joke, boner pill joke, and then yeah, uh, yeah, that kind of and he slap. says like something like I don't need very corny or yeah, you're my boner, you're my boner pills, yeah, 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 yeah. And so um, yeah, she gets a phone call and literally it's the moment he sat down though is when I went, it's him. that's the killer, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I, he sat down and something about his whole vibe. I was like, uh, uh-uh, mm. I ain't. Mm-mm. And then like later, as Dewey goes, always suspect the love interest. I was like, it's it, him. and then once that was said, I was like. It's this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. For a little bit, it did have me thinking it was Wes. Mm. Because of yeah, how, yeah. because at the beginning, uh, el- so he's, she, Tara is messaging Alexis, right? Is her Amber. Name? Amber. Amber. She did a phenomenal job. Oh, too. yeah. She really did. Um, but she was messaging Amber, who is her best friend. Mm-hmm. And Amber said something like, is Wes still bothering you? Yeah, And that's because right. Amber had said also that Wes was calling her kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so then it kind of is planting some seeds of doubt for Wes yeah. there as well. Because it kind but of seems then, like stalkerish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then once like with the whole situation when he called her sister and then once we saw him and then also I just have a soft spot for him. Yeah. As an I actor. I forget what's his name. Dylan Minnette. Okay. Yeah. 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 From 13 and Reasons Why. And 13 Reasons Why. A lot of why, other things. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And then I'm, I'm obsessed with his girlfriend, Lydia Knight. Uh, mm. Anyways, yeah. she's amazing. And uh, but so I was like, oh, I can't, I can't be him. And then also his name mm-hmm. was Wes. Yeah. Which was such In a honor good. Of Wes. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. then they have Craven. a toast for him later and they're like, for Wes. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I love you how just they know all of that them were just it. going like, yeah. for Wes. Yeah. Yeah. But once I saw how he interacted with Tara at the hospital mm-hmm. and stuff, I was like, yeah, no, it's just, not him. just seemed like a lifelong, like, I was like, he's such, such a sweet little yeah. baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who clearly does like her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Anyways. He calls Sam and lets her know that Tara was attacked. Mm-hmm. And I love how you just said that. Tara was attacked. Yeah. And it's just very like, okay, what <laughs> happened? Point blank. Don't yeah. make some details, <laughs> which I'm sure they covered. Attacked but like how? us as the audience is just like, yeah. It's like, yeah. what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She was fucking brutally stabbed. She was stabbed multiple times. Had her leg broken. Like, because after watching it, like, it was pretty brutal. And mm-hmm. I really enjoyed it because it gave me very much, like, the death scene. Um, it was a much longer opening sequence. And, yeah. Well, maybe aside from Scream 4 with the meta. But. Yeah. Um, like, the attack itself, though, mm, kind of reminded me of Scream 4, though, whenever her friend got attacked in the bedroom across the way and mm-hmm. how brutal that was, like, like yeah. and which I really enjoyed in that film. And I was like, I wish there was more of that. And this movie gave me more of that, yeah, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, Good. Mm-hmm. Ah, ting 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 which comes up later <laughs> it does yeah <laughs> um <laughs> yeah but so she gets that phone call and then we get her traveling back mm-hmm. to go to see woodsboro but 
it then pans to our classic Woodsboro High mm-hmm. shot. Yeah. In and which and where we get that scene. Took you back is like a warm, fuzzy it feeling. It does. It does. I was like, Because it's just like the original. Mm-hmm. And then we get that little scene where all the friends are talking about um, what happened to Tara. Yeah, we meet the new friend group. The, mm-hmm, and it gives you very much that scene when they were at the water fountain, fountain yeah. from the first movie mm-hmm. of them kind of talking about what had happened and um yeah um it was really good i, I liked I the retro the retro feeling to it sh- oh shit what's her name uh mindy mindy mindy, mindy meeks b- played by jasmine savoy brown she uh she was phenomenal the whole movie she was and she, she was, was just a so great actress point like well what if it is fucking ki- like she was just s- yeah, yeah, yeah so deadpan very much so the whole time like and unfazed unbothered like always felt like she was two steps ahead mm-hmm. yeah so there were a few times where they were like uh that maybe <laughs> It, it she could have been the killer yeah i know ding ding <laughs> <laughs> sorry the the lights are on a motion sensor out here and mike stepped out to make a call i think and so the, the lights, lights went turned dark off in the studio <laughs> and it literally feels like stream two when they're in the studio oh. and like oh shit go space to just pop up <laughs> yo we're building a murder there's literally murder nowhere live. we can run like. yeah we would be fucked if somebody <laughs> came in here should we lock that door right now because uh, now I'm, well, this is a big old glass <laughs> pane. okay we'll be all we're right. gonna die yeah it'll be fun <laughs> like my immediate thought along the door <laughs> i'm glad these aren't live because then someone in like mm-hmm. come in like 15 minutes and know that we're like in yeah this. oh and we couldn't escape that's <laughs> hilarious um so yeah back to the movie <laughs> um <laughs> well, yeah so what were we talking about i'm sorry uh so okay this is where it starts planting little seeds of doubt oh, for, for all, all a the lot of the characters the little, the, yeah yeah we have some what was her brother's name chaz or chad yeah chad chad yeah. Um, yeah. There's little. Chad like, meets he gives you like the very like Martin. Mm-hmm. I think is the. Uh, um, oh. I was trying to see if it's cut off. It's too long. For yeah. I can't see. It's just Chad Meeks dash Mar and then Mindy Meeks dash Ma. <laughs> so yeah. I can't. I can't tell what their full last name is. But they are, as we find out, Randy's nieces, nieces nephew. and nephew. They're twins. Yeah, they're twins. And I was like. Yeah, I know. I love how Randy was still like honored in this movie yeah. and called back to. They had to. Uh huh. So good. Um, but yeah, so they're going through and they're just being like, "Well, maybe you're the killer. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're the fucking killer," kind of thing, and giving uh, you little bits of things. And then weird homeboy shows up, like yeah. an actual fucking stalker, a greaser dude, just yeah. like chilling. And they're like, "Well, maybe he did it." And he's and like, "They were like, we f- they fucked once or something or summer fling." Uh-huh. What was that character's name? His girlfriend. Her name was Liv. Liv, yeah. Liv McKenzie, played by Sonia Ben Amar. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So there's that kind of little second line plot of like him getting introduced and for a reason here in a bit, but yeah, like he was really him kind of stalking her, quite literally an irrelevant ca- character. Yeah, for the in most all part. honesty, because mm-hmm. yeah, I mean he was kind of stalking her, but I was if, just like, if that would have been cut out. It wouldn't have lost any, like, it didn't add nor did it really delete anything. Like, you know no. what I mean? It was just kind of an extra bit of information. Yeah. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's just kind of like, and I mean, maybe kind of giving you a red herring to, like, maybe it could be that person. Are you? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, you're good. I thought you were looking at my lip. Oh, no, I'm leaning <laughs> away so you can't hear me swallowing the beer in the mic. <laughs> I was like, oh, your eyes, because they, like, darted right here. Oh, no, I'm looking at you talk. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was stop talking like with the list because you know. it's getting in the way. Oh, um, I talk with the list all the time. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pointing the finger at him, maybe in a way to being Ghostface. But yeah, yeah. if if he had some sort of relation with maybe Tar Tara Tara, Tara mm-hmm. I would, I would kind of gotten it more. Mm-hmm. Um, but quite frankly, this girl's an irrelevant character as well. However, though, it did give me the like vibes that possibly she could have been. Yeah, well, because here in a minute, they because all say they're going to... Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, uh, actually, because uh, she w- was one of the few that kind of popped up in my head a few times. It was like a 25%-ish kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, because when, here in a second, they're talking about all going to visit Tara mm-hmm. uh, because they've just gotten out of school and they're going to go visit Tara at yeah. the hospital because she's awake. Mm-hmm. And so they were all going to go and she decides to hang back. And so yeah. that was my first, like... Mm, why are you hanging why back? Why are you not There's going? No and then yeah. especially when th- an attack happened in the hospital, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, uh-huh. I don't know about you. Because she wasn't accounted for. Mm-hmm. I mean, they all eventually were unaccounted for, but yeah. she was like, like, where? what are you doing? That's, she was extra. That was my first for. initial, like, first person to be like, oh, what are you doing there? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and so yeah, we have um and sorry, speaking huh. of which though, Liv is dating Chad's character. Yeah, which is Mindy's so brother. They're dating. Um Oh, and, and it also got mentioned because this comes up later that they aren't having sex. Yes. Yes. Abstinent. Abstinent. But she had hooked up with the greaser dude. Greaser, Vince. Mm -hmm. So Schneider it's not like she's is a virgin. his name. Yeah. Kyle played by Kyle Gall Gallner. Yeah. And so anyways, we get to the hospital then. And um, I think that's whenever Sam comes in and mm -hmm. she meets all the friends up already that are in the room with um, her sister, Tara. We and find that she is babysat Wes and the twins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so she's known them all since they were little. Um, and so it's the way that she also doesn't like Amber, obviously maybe moved to this town mm -hmm. or whatever. Right. Cause later it says after, ever since my parents bought this house, remember that scene? Yeah. Right? So she, you can tell that like, she didn't grow up with them. So Sam didn't know her like that. Yeah. Sam, this new girl only knows what Tara has told her about Sam while Sam was gone, you know, for exactly, uh, by the way, Sam has been gone for five years from this town, kind of like cut off all ties and left her family and, mm -hmm. you know, yeeted on out of that hoe when she turned 18. Yeah. Um, so yes, most of us do. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, it's the way that Amber kind of at first also gives you very like these, this snarky, very overprotective, like, yeah, weirdly overprotective. Yeah. Weirdly. It, for Ugh, Tara. I don't yeah. even really like want to reference this show because I'll probably get a lot of hate for this. I'm not enjoying it. I've been trying to watch it for a long time, but Us. Oh, wait. Us. That Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that I'm That movie about. with that one guy who's like a stalker and everybody's fantasizing and like us. romanticizing him and I'm like You mean you? You. <laughs> damn I was it. Like, us? God damn it. Us is a great film. <laughs> yeah. And I was thinking about like this is I us. Literally, and I'm like, Wait, what? I've literally done this so many times. No, I turned off This Is Us in the first fucking Season. like twenty minutes because mm -hmm. Mandy Moore starts dancing naked, pregnant, and I just mm. I for those of you who don't know, I have a weird fear of pregnant women. There you go. <laughs> and pregnant bellies make okay. me we nauseous. All fears. Yeah, and I I just couldn't look at it, and so mm -hmm. I turned that off immediately, <laughs> and I did. never tried again. But. You, oh, that one. You. <laughs> yes. you, Josh. Okay. No, um, but that one, I just, it, uh, the way it felt like um, with what's her face's best friend mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. being I obsessed with her, yeah. kind of gave me those same vibes. Yeah. And so I was, you could tell she could in be the first a little crazy. Maybe. Yeah. I was like, yeah, something's not right about her. Or I her. felt like she was in love with her. Yes. And that's I what felt I like she was very in love like, with her. Okay, there's a motive there. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, that's, that was what I thought. Mm -hmm. Um, Turns out she wasn't, but yeah. it, it gave me those, like, I am obsessed with this person. Mm -hmm. Like, it unhealthily so amber's a bitch amber's a bitch we um, hate her played <laughs> by mikey madison yeah who did a phenomenal job yeah she did a great job she did especially towards especially the especially at the end she was she like i moments. was like oh okay mm -hmm. girl you are bad shit <laughs> mm -hmm. she plays the character well she does i loved it she did so good um and so that's so well. whenever i guess what sam says that she oh she, Tara wants a moment with Sam mm -hmm. and asks everybody to leave and so like and she's like you came talking, and Sam's like yeah, fucking of course I came I love you got you, stabbed <laughs> and so then uh, at a certain point I guess there's some holes oh. here but Sam leaves right because she's gonna go yes did we also mention how Tara just like they were talking about the elevated horror but Tara was like I don't like the stab films yeah so then I thought that was just a funny. Mm -hmm. She was like, I saw it maybe once. It's just not good. Yeah. Which I feel like is like the vibe for most of the oh, Scream films. Yeah, and for sure. Even though they are so good. Yeah. Um, to us. To us. Some people don't feel that way. Yeah. 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 I feel that. Anyways, Teach I just thought own. that was so funny. But yeah. yes, she asked for a moment alone. And then they had asked her boyfriend because Jack Quaid, Kurt, mm -hmm. his name is Kirsch. He doesn't even have a last name. That's a psychopath. You don't have a last name? Kirsch, but she called him Richie, right? Well, then why, what the fuck is his name? I'm so confused. Yeah, they called him Richie. Then why does his cast say just Kirsch? Where does Richie come from? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure she called him. Call, uh. Who knows? I don't know. This is Saturday. I forget days immediately. Um, But anyways, her boyfriend, he had come with her because he's like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to let you go alone. Which another thing, I was like... The way that he delivered that line for her at the bowling alley, I was like, yeah, no. No, sir. Bless you. <laughs> no, I kept it in. <laughs> Y'all could hear me like, I'm about to like let it go. Aggressively smelling your 
my god. It's like no. weird, but okay. I'm gonna let it happen. <laughs> that doesn't feel too far off for me. No, I was trying to hold back that sneeze, which I did. Congrats to me. Good job. You really did a good job. <laughs> that was really dramatic. Um, but yeah, so yeah, Rich, we're going to call him Rich. If nothing else, yeah. his name's Rich because Kirsch is too weird to mm-hmm. say. Um, but <laughs> Rich was asked to stay out of the room, mm-hmm. right? That's right. And so then Sam leaves and then she goes to go make something and she's in the she's taking her pills yes right? and yeah she goes to get some water and it's the way that it's she like the little break room drinks the, the water from the faucet yeah i was like who does that's that very unhinged behavior yeah i was yeah. like no yeah i so saw it kind of gave me like there's something off here too uh and then in that very moment she lifts her head up and, and we, we get see in the mirror we see billy loomis billy loomis skeet ulrich, skeet ulrich yes. and, and this is what i didn't like Okay, okay, same for me. Okay, first off, his this appearance. This is what you meant, like the siege on yes, OJ okay, special the effects. Post, gotcha. Like post the, editing. They, like, they also tried to DH him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, to, it it just looked, it looked weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something about it. Like I would have been okay with it. And also to, I mean, okay. I, I, do, I honestly didn't I, think it was a super important aspect. I didn't think it was I could necessary. Have done without it. I didn't think that it was necessary to see him yes. like that. And I would also, have loved knowing that, yes, he she is their, like, secret yes. love child of some other person. Yeah. Um, which I was just like, well, how the hell did Billy have time yeah. to get around like, to someone else? Other, I guess when he wasn't fucking Sydney. Yeah, for the whole year. Yeah, yeah. he was probably fucking someone else. Yeah. Um, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I personally... Everything about this film I thought was very wonderful. Mm-hmm. Was not a fan of this, of seeing him. Mm-hmm, I didn't, I just didn't. I didn't think, think it was necessary. Mm-hmm. I get what they were trying to do and like play it back and homage to that as well. Kind of give Skeet, Skeet Ulrich a moment too to be in it since like he was such a big Pil- part of the, huge yeah, part. pillar of the first like, yeah. movie. You know, he's the he original ghost the face. The original ghost face, yeah. Um, like, but it almost was like a redeeming factor for him too. Like yeah. he was helping her and I was like, no, fuck you, dude. Yeah, you're fuck still you. a serial killer. Your motive was shit. Mm-hmm. You're mad because your mommy didn't come home like, or that's something. that's on her. I'm sorry. And you and yeah. Yeah, all of us. It was not Sydney's fault or Maureen parents. Prescott's fault. Yeah. That make mistakes. And, and not enough to where you want to, A, murder her mm-hmm. and then kill her daughter yeah like no and so they're just that to me i was like don't i i appreciated seeing Mm -hmm. billy back in there um i just didn't like it i didn't like the way that it happened Mm -hmm. had it been like a flashback or or a dream sequence yeah and that would have played homage to scream three because Mm -hmm. she had dream sequences with her mom that's right that and that would have made been more, amazing. and that would have made more sense that to me really for her so to have had, especially in the moments where she was sleeping in the room with Tara. Yeah, like more sense to me her have a dream sequence with him than then popping up there. And then, and I didn't think it was necessary for them to even DH and for him to be like the age he is now, like mm-hmm. as like what she would imagine he'd be exactly. as said father. Because her mother looked like spoiler alert, you guys. She's Billy Lee Mrs. Kid. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see yeah. it yet. So um, that's why she's seeing these mm-hmm. um, uh, visions of him, hallucinations, yeah. and which like clear, very. This is a real thing. Mm-hmm. Hallucinations and seeing things that are not there. Yeah, are a for real certain, thing. You know. Yeah. However, I just and then I feel like they really, really, really tried to play on the fact that it it almost felt like they were demonizing people who are descendants of people who are murderers. Oh yeah. And while m- mental health disorders do pass down, like I literally have, the, my main thing is <laughs> in my family the yeah. whole time, and so like it's it's very real for things to get passed down by that. But hereditary. In yes, and hereditary. Mm-hmm. Um, inherently, being the child of a serial killer though does not make you evil. Yeah. And I feel like they did a They were really trying to play on that up, play yeah. that up and kind of make like Cuz like at one point like she was like how does it feel like are you scared of me now that you know that I'm a yeah. serial killer's daughter? daughter. Yeah. And fucking Rich, Richie says, "Yeah, a little bit." And mm-hmm. it's like, "No, a hey, fuck you." Yeah. Two, she was not raised by this man. Yeah. She was raised by a person who thought he was her dad. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Um 
But no, Mm -hmm. like there's only so much that is like going to be transferred down. But but it plays up to her arc, though, because in her mind, because if you so here we go, she well, well, let's follow through like she gets attacked. She does. After, you know, taking those pills, after seeing um, Billy Loomis in the mirror. Because Ghostface calls her, and then she's like, "Well, why don't you come get me?" And then he just like, "Well, I'm <laughs> He's here." Like, hey. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> I'm in the room, and so then like attacks her. It's this whole scene of her in the cap- little like lounge, um, flipping tables, chairs, getting tossed around. Really she, though, and I'm like, again, mm-hmm. where is everyone? Mm-hmm. Literally, that's when I in every hospital scene in every horror movie though, it's always like, where are the other patients? And hospital every time I go to hospital, it's like there's people everywhere, mm-hmm. everywhere. They're packed. Yeah, never been in a a band. You turn and there's someone. (laughs) Literally, there's there's no some scribe, some nurse, some doctor, some patient, some people waiting. It's bustling. Yeah, ooh, bustling. It's bustling. (laughs) I love that. Take me back. Um, and so yeah, um, she gets attacked anyway. She runs out. I'm getting attacked Mm -hmm. by the killer. Right he's there. here. He's here. Uh, obviously, the deputy goes in, and nobody there. Okay, first off, deputy uh, Vincent, played by Hottie Chester Patootie. Tom. I Tam. I was a fan. He was very cute. He was so mm. I, mean, I could climb him like a tree. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, I was, was like, he okay, definitely daddy. gave me some. <laughs> Facts, even that's though exactly what I was gonna say, Daddy vibes. Um, <laughs> even though he also seemed kind of like skittish, and, like because there's some points. Where oh, he was totally. Gail questions him. I mean, yeah, he was totally Probably inadequate not. at his job. Yeah. Um, he was on his phone. Yeah, he was so waiting. But anyways, uh, still, it's would. the way that we. <laughs> you still would, and still I would. would too. Um, and so look at his smile here. It's winning. Oh, <laughs> so cute. What was his name? Uh, Chester, as the character, uh, Vincent. Vincent. Deputy Vincent. That's right. Um, and so, yeah, obviously, Ghostface isn't there. And so she goes back to Tara. And that's when she has that moment where she lets her know, like, this is happening because I found out when I was 13 from one of mom's old journals that I am Billy Loomis's child. Dad didn't know. I went to go confront mom. Yada, yada, yada. A lot of shit happened. And so she then took it upon herself when she left. Um, Woodsboro to leave because she was getting in a lot of drugs and alcohol. Mm-hmm. She and was like, I was filling was my system with anything that I could. She was trying to, to escape for, um, that feeling. from this reality. And um, because she I mean, felt like yes. she was going to end up like him. Yeah. And that Crazy. is a very understandable and realistic mm-hmm. fear that mm-hmm. she had. And and I do agree with that. I mm-hmm. support it. I think that part of the arc was good mm-hmm. for her. For her character. Um, I just overall could have done without that. Yeah. Um. Even if like they so played on that, but with no visions of him, mm-hmm. I didn't want to see him that badly in the film. Yeah. That I wanted poorly CGI'd, mm-hmm. post edited <clears throat> versions of him. Mm-hmm. And so I don't know. Like, sorry, Skeet. Skeet Ulrich. <laughs> You're great. But we love you, man. Y- you are great. I just I feel like they did you a little. But dirty that's just there. our opinion. It is. And it's all right. And other people still might have really movie. liked it. Um, still nice to see you. It is still nice still to see you. It was still nice to see you. Yeah. yeah I, it after was. a while, I was like, okay, was like, this is happening. All right. Is. So I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So, all right. So we got um, all that happening. She tells Sa- uh, Tara about this, and she, Tara oh, tells wait. her to fucking leave. Yes. Mm-hmm. Also, I there were a few moments where I was not a fan of Sam mm. and her mm-hmm. acting. Mm. Okay. That was one of them. Okay, gotcha. The way that she, it was too over the top, Mm. which I imagine in a situation like that, yeah, your emotions are over. You're hysterical. And then there's even times when she was getting like chased by Ghostface Mm -hmm. in that kitchen scene, Mm -hmm. um, break room scene, whatever, that she almost looked like she was smiling. I didn't catch it. There, there are a few times where I, I saw it and I was just like, what? Um, which. (laughs) <laughs> I'm a terrible actress. I yeah. was in <laughs> a, a, hor- a zombie <laughs> movie film in high school oh, yeah, for a French right. school project. Mm-hmm. And the whole time, I was just like <laughs> laughing because I was so fucking awkward. Yeah. And it gave me kind of those like a smile that wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. Okay. That Definitely. we caught because it kind of like they had no other choice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. M- and maybe that's not the case, but. And maybe that's just how she looks afraid. I didn't. Ca- um, I didn't have necessarily any big like critiques on her performance, it, but overall, it wasn't also. It, yeah. I liked her mm-hmm. character. Mm-hmm. I thought she was 
pretty good. There were just a few moments from her acting wise that I was just like, oh, this is a little cringe. kind of yeah, cringe. Mm-hmm. And it also because Tara was stealing the fucking show for me. She was getting like, she, hey, that was yeah, good the whole movie. She was doing a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. The whole time I was just like, Damn, this bitch needs to be the main character because she's good. Mm-hmm. She is good. She's talented. But I mean, Sam had a really, really, really good backstory. Yeah. And gave you kind of that. Oh, and, and, it, and it's also the overarching, like, like, this This is why this is happening. Yeah. Like, yes. this and is the she whole reason had, of the movie. She's a little bit more hardened and mm-hmm. callous towards life yeah. itself, which gave me very Sidney Prescott vibes, mm-hmm. which it was supposed to. Yeah. So, overall, I see why they chose her. And how she'll fill in if these movies continue. Exactly. Which they could. Um, as her as the lead. I just hope Tara has more part. Yeah. Or <laughs> she's great. Or be the bigger lead. Yeah. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's also really cool because I don't I don't remember if it's direct. I would want to say it's directly right after she gets attacked and right before they have the talk with you know why it happened. She uh, we get to see Sheriff Judy. That's Hicks. right. Yeah. She showed up Just and I was nice like, to see her again. And it's the way that her and her like reaction with Sam. I was like, oh, she really don't like Sam. No, she don't. She's like, you need to go. Mm-hmm. I was like. <laughs> And th- but I still I didn't like I fucking hated Judy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was just like she's kind of unlikable. She's kind even, of unlikable. Even after everything and just personally thinking like I'm not a fan of what just happened with Sam and her performance, especially mm-hmm. when Tara came in and was like, "Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, fucking leave!" And it was so believable. I was still like, "I'm on Sam's side. Yeah. Fuck you, Judy. Fuck you." But yeah. then Judy does redeem herself for me. I was actually like. <laughs> yeah i mean when sh- that scene i was yeah. also i mean oh because she's like my baby boy yeah like, when it's and i mean also too it's just like especially with the legacy Spoiler characters alert, i cried yeah i actually had two whole tears come out of my eyeballs and especially with the legacy characters like you just it holds more sentimental it value. does it really um, does um and so yeah oh and, and i kind of had this side note um <laughs> Going back to that kitchen, I mean, the hospital scene when she's getting attacked and they go back to find that nobody's there. Mm-hmm. Like, I would really love, like, a short little, like, 15-minute compilation video of, like, Ghostface, like, leaving these situations. And, like, what does he do? Like, hurry up and, like, take <laughs> off the, like... And he then goes just, like, into the janitor's it. closet. Like, like, yeah, like, what happened? Like, where do they go? Because it happened so quickly. <laughs> or, like, when he got shot, like, in Scream 3 and was underneath the car, but then gone. Like, mm-hmm. like I want to yeah, Where's see, he going? I, I want to see Ghostface transition. I want to see them... Exactly. I want to mm-hmm. see how that... I can feel it already being like it's like a comedy like you know you just like played comedic. like silent film and then it's just sped up and then it's mm-hmm. like ding, 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 ding. Yeah, <laughs> like literally some little three stooges music i know what you're talking yeah. about exactly I yeah i can see that yeah. i would i would <laughs> i would pay money to see that so <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna continue on because we still have to get through a lot more of this There's movie so much. yeah um and so we're gonna go find dewey um and richie her <laughs> boyfriend is gonna go with sam and they're gonna like go figure it out on their own because she's not gonna leave it up to the cops or anything like that at this point mm-hmm. first off though they're in the room after the attack happened right mm-hmm. and they're with they're with both richie and amber right because then oh, yeah. she comes in they're like well where were you during this attack and she was like i was being investigated yeah by the police and then he was in there also, who has never seen any of the stab movies, he says. And then he's watching them kind of religiously yeah. throughout while Sam is sleeping with sleeping there Tara. and, you know, watching over Tara. And so he was watching the stab films throughout. And then it also gets into some that you love him. What's his name? The YouTube uh-huh. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, when I, they, when I when saw, I saw it, saw, I was like, "Josh is gonna be so excited." Do you understand how you understand? hard it was for me to not mention that to you? Oh my god! Do you night? not understand that in the moment that that happened in the theater, I literally like lit up like a proud he, he, mother. So he does like, the kill fan. counts, right? Yeah. yeah. So if y'all, uh, there's this YouTube channel called Dead Meat. Um, James A. Janice is the host. Yeah. And um, he has this one segment called Kill Count where he just goes over, like, you know, the biggest kills over all the horror movies and he ranks them and all this type of stuff. It's really, like, and he's he very does, good. He does amazing work. I love it. And mm-hmm. I just also just personally love, like, his, like, personality. Yeah. Like, it just shines through the, the his, the, his, you know, clips. Um, and so, anyways, yeah, when I saw him and Chelsea, his they're about to get married, his oh, fiance. Really? That's yeah, that's so sweet. Um, I didn't realize. I that. I was so excited for them, and like it was so cool, and I was just like, wow, that's awesome. I just like that's- I've watched 
I've watched a good amount of his stuff, but uh-huh. I knew that you loved him. And mm-hmm. so when I saw that in the theaters, I was like, I was like, oh, damn it, I wish Josh was here right now. Because I was like, he's going to be so excited. And then I saw you that night and I couldn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you anything. I was like, ah. I love it. Anyways. Yeah. I was but so excited. The whole time throughout the movie, Richie is doing like kind of recon. Mm-hmm. It, 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 he's researching mm-hmm. on the films. On the stabs because he supposedly have never had seen, never seen them, them before. And which is a big farce. Yeah. As we find out, he's just literally obsessed. The biggest fan. Yeah. Um, um, and so, yeah. Um, but now they've the gone to go find me. Dewey. Um, yeah, they're going to find oh, Dewey. Oh, but yeah, sorry. Amber us- and... As my oh, I yeah, meant yeah, to yeah. say, Amber and Richie were pointing were the finger at each other, though. Yeah. They were trying to make you, they were giving each other, like, these false no, alibi kind you. of things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, I, for the ending, I think that was a really important scene. Yeah. A very n- crucial scene to have been, like, paying attention. And then in that moment again is where I went, yeah, no, I, I it's, it's these, these two. two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I still in my head, that's that, where it clicked. I still wasn't at this point. Well, like, no, it literally clicked the moment I saw both of them. The moment that I saw the way she was acting towards Tara in mm-hmm. that hospital room. And the moment, literally, he didn't even have to talk. The moment he sat down next to her, I was like, is that's that him. motherfucker? <laughs> he looks like a killer. I've dated so many shitheads. Crazy eyes. <laughs> that I can tell. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, they're... Um, Going to find, they find Dewey. Dewey's now living in like this trailer park in a trailer. Dewey's gone kinda, a little downhill. Yeah, kind of let he's himself go. He looks like he's been down and out. Um, he's had some rough, rough times. times. Yeah, and so it's the way that he's like also though sitting down to watch Gail on TV. No, so you know they're not together so at this sad. point, obviously. I was like, no. Yeah, I know. It's the way that every other movie they are together <laughs> and not together, together and not together. Got me hopes up. Mm-hmm. And so, um, yeah, they are, which I mean, it's, it's so funny because like, it's even meta on itself because mm-hmm. like we because talked about they were actually f- split in real life. Yeah. Like, so it's like, it's, I felt like watching them too. You could tell like there was such chemistry in the way that like, they literally was. just kind of also just, they're just, I felt like they were the, living they're their they're actual literally lives. Playing their life. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely got that vibe when they were reunited mm-hmm. in that scene, the way yeah. that they were talking to each other, it was almost uh, a little too much it, a little too long mm. just but then i also was like well that pays such good tribute to the fact that in to every their relationship, other movie they've been the dynamic duo that helps us solve this yes but mm-hmm. then also in every other movie they have a Together. slightly uh-huh. cringy scene oh, that happens right. too long <laughs> that's and true so i was the like the scene of them in the theater mm-hmm. uh, it, at, at the, the, in the auditorium, three, auditorium. The one in screen two at the college where they're mm-hmm. having like that weird like a life. Oh, nice streaks. Yeah. 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 So it, it, it gave me very much still those because in my head immediately. And I was their like, conversation in screen one where he's mm-hmm. on the steps and she's like, well, I mm-hmm. where we were exactly. like, why is she talking about like liking little boys? Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> From so 12 to 24. All of them were just it. The moment that I in my brain, I was like because uh, at first the acting i was like oh damn i was like man this is emotional and then i was like okay this is going on a little too long and then i was like oh wait mm-hmm. no it has to go on too yeah. long it's literally the point of it mm-hmm. i think at this point yeah. it's not like they're trying to sell a big love story and it's such a big, clearly i mean it's pivotal, turbulent as fuck it's, it's a pivotal ro- part like it's a pivotal factor in all the movies too them being together you know mm-hmm. um, and i'm glad i i'm for later on, I'm glad they and had for that the, moment. And for the and for the build up too, because after mm-hmm. all these movies, seeing them like knowing that they're gonna survive or be, seeing them together, because it also adds like throughout the movies, like you don't want one or the other to pat like to get killed because like it's yeah like, we got so scared when Dewey got yeah. stabbed and in then, Scream and then too, it's like because it's like they're the couple, like they've got to survive and stay together, mm-hmm. and like you know yeah, there's that hope that you're holding out. Yeah, for them. yeah, um, exactly. And so, <laughs> oh, that was a funny noise you made there. Oh, your throat. I felt it right That's here. That's your thrusty. And my, what is this called, throat pocket? I call it a thrusty. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yours is better. Mine sounds like some sort of microwave dinner. Or your dinner. clavicle meets right there, yeah. that little dip. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, um, they're... They get do we get a Stewie? Do we gets a knock at the door and it's knock and it's a Sam and he's there to talk to them to her to him. Oh my gosh, sorry Sam you guys. Is, Sam and Richie, Richie are there, is there to, to talk, talk to, to Dewey, and he's like, 
why should I answer the door? And she's like, because I'm Billy Loomis's daughter. And then and he said, Wicca, what? And then he's like, that's a horrible reason yeah. when he opens the door. Yeah. But he still opened the door. the door. Yeah. And lets them in and mm-hmm. they kind of are talking. And that's whenever Dewey's points the finger to um, la, yes. la, 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 what's his face? Richie. Richie. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, this is just a weird side note. I thought it was so odd how they immediately sat down on his couch. Mm. I don't know. I feel like the moment I walk into anyone's house, especially if I don't know them, I'm like standing there until I'll they're just like, stand. here, you can sit here. Mm-hmm. But then also like, I don't know. I just am never like, let me just go plop down on someone's couch. Yeah. That was just a weird aside for me. <laughs> no, I feel you. But yes, they're sitting there talking with Dewey, Whoop. kind of explaining the situation. And then Dewey goes, there are rules. And mm-hmm. we have the rules. Yeah. Which Already I don't have listed. I, One mm. was for sure. Always suspect, suspect the love interest. interest. That's the first one, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. And then he said some other things that were very spot on and relevant to the film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to do another, like, well, I'm gonna once go watch it Scream again. 5 is released. Yeah. Though, where we can actually take notes and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe we'll have to do maybe like a bonus episode or something like that. Yeah. It'd just be kind of fun. Um, But yeah, he goes over he the He gives us the good list. And just that, like Randy would have done in, yes. in, in the other movies. Um, He's basically like, look. And I've how, been here, done this. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. And, uh, oh, he did say it's always going to go back to the original. That's slash right. The, it's and always it gonna, really plays oh, on the legacy characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is, what was that first one again? Oh, yeah. Always suspect the love interest. Mm-hmm. It always goes back to the past. Mm-hmm. And third is that there's always a friend group that the killer is a part of. Yes. That's oh, yeah. He is. was like, it's someone in your friend group. Because they're yeah. like, do you have a, does she have a tightly knit friend group? And they're like. Yes. It's always someone from the friend group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Dewey literally was like, this is what he solved the case the from movies. the get. Yeah, literally. <laughs> he was just like, is this and this? And he was exactly right. Mm-hmm. And then what's his face? Richie even calls it out at the end when he was like, Dewey got it on the first try. Suspect the love interest. Yeah. And so I liked that meta callback uh, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I remember that part. Yeah. Oh. He was like <laughs> that line. It made me kind of cringe because mm-hmm. it like it hurt. It not didn't hurt, but I was like, "Oh, that sounds really ugly." Where mm-hmm. he was like, uh, "Do you know what I'm talking about?" Um, it wasn't. It was easy to something, and it was easy to fuck you or something yeah. like that. And I was and like, he, "Damn!" And then they said something about like a woman having loose morals empowers you or something, and I was yeah. like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> I call, call. felt a little <laughs> called out. <laughs> me. Um, <laughs> Because um, you're a daddy, <laughs> not me. <laughs> um, and so, anyways, yeah. So <laughs> we have the whole Dewey and their conversation um, about uh, you know what's happening. And so she's like, "Can you help?" And it's like him kind of reluctantly being like, you know. Oh, I think he said it was easier to f- it was easy to find you, even easier to get in your pants. Yeah, something or like that. Something like that. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Um. And so. <laughs> Oh yeah, because he found her at that other city. Yeah, but I that's can't he the name literally. Of. Okay, we'll get to that. And so yeah, <laughs> we got this conversation with Dewey, and um, it's uh yeah, Dewey reluctantly signs up to help them out. Um, mm-hmm. and then we have him calling Sydney, right? Yes, he called Sydney. Let her know we get. This is where we get to see Sydney. Mm-hmm. She's living her best life. She's being, got some babies. She's being that white suburban mom mm-hmm. running. It with the kids in the stroller. Yeah, she's got a nice little river. She's in her little capri tights Mm -hmm. and running. She looked good. She did. And then she gets that phone call and she goes, "Hello," and blah blah. blah. And and then she was like, "I'm Sydney Prescott." Yeah, Uh, of course I have a gun. He asked her, but (laughs) did you notice he said, "How's Mark?" It's Mark Kincaid from Scream Three. Oh, he was like, "How's Mark?" She's like, "He's good." So she ended up with Mark. So it was pretty cool. I was wondering where the fuck he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was really nice for him to say, how's Mark? Because then I was like, it was like a little Easter egg. I, yeah. like, I didn't think about it till afterwards. Oh, I, I didn't like, think about it at all. I was like, oh, yeah, that was, that oh, was, he's referencing Mark and Kate. I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh, so two of the people I suspected the most got, I suspected Dewey and I suspected the fuck out of Mark. Yeah. And so uh, they're together, and that's when he's telling her it's happening again. It's the way that her facial, like her face, changed immediately after mm-hmm. he says that. She did such a good job. Yeah, and uh, she did such an amazing job. And so yeah, and he's just telling her like, "Don't come here." And she's like, uh, "Don't tell me twice." Cause I'm <laughs> she's not like, gonna go. "I'm not I'm literally not going back." And she wasn't planning on going back until we find out, you know, yes, here in a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah. So events. we have uh, after that, 
and he texts Gail like, "Hey, don't come back to Woods." <laughs> that scene was a bit cringe when he was about to say like, "I still," uh, and yeah, I'm like, I, was like boy, "I think I literally went." Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> like, me too. You better not, boy. Uh-uh. The way he was awkwardly texting Gail Do and not. deleting. Yeah. Yes. So, which, oh. I mean, I guess we've all been there. He was like, the killer is in Woodsboro again. Hope you're doing well, smiley face. And he was like, I probably shouldn't have sent that smiley face. And, and I was like, he was about to write, I boy, still you love shouldn't you have or put something. That si- yes. And then he was going to put, I still, and I was like, mm-mm. Do we choke on those words right now? Because mm-hmm. if I was Gail, I would throw up at that. And so, uh, yeah. Even though they're sweet and I support <laughs> Dewey. But I was just... No. Yeah. And now a word from our sponsors. And so then after that, I think that's whenever he meets with her, with the friends, the friend group and Sam. And -hmm. that's whenever we figure out, you know, like the twins are Randy's niece and nephew. nephew, There's a whole shrine built to him. Like obviously her, his niece is going to like, she loves the movies just like he did. So um, they're having this whole conversation about the rules and like suspecting all of them. And she's talking about requels because Mindy's she's on on her shit pretty much the whole time. Mm -hmm. I just, I really loved her. And then when she was a lesbian, Mm -hmm. you fell even more in love with her. I did. Yeah. I was like, damn bitch. The way she was like, What's up? Mm-hmm. The like, girl on the couch next to her and the girl was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yay. <laughs> yeah. It was the way this cast too was very, very well, like diversified, diverse. Yeah. And yeah. Like, it was, it was very 2022 mm-hmm. in a film that was trying to emulate 1996. Yes. So it was really, it cool. was, it was an updated take on yeah. the original and yeah. so good. Yeah. I, I really loved it. I thought they did ugh. a requel. It it's was. so cool. It was. It's and that's so cool. why there's no scream. Five, like it yeah. is scream. Yeah, it's and literally so scream. Even then, so it's so meta and on itself. Mm-hmm. It's just like scream twenty twenty two. They also had some sort called. of callback with scream. At some point, there was a lot of they were different talking references. about, but they they how scream four made that comment of like the seven and then this and mm-hmm. this. There was something about a scream five. There was there was some sort of reference mm. there that was very similar to previous films that i won't remember now so i apologize for bringing it up at all <laughs> i feel you but though no <laughs> it's just it's a very to me like it's clever it, it all it's in it on so itself clever. it's like all builds like i said like a cake there's layers to it mm-hmm. um and so um yeah they're all they're all mindy is one of us yeah she's, she's a boobie. She, she would be a boobie for sure um and so we get this whole um you know kind of dialogue between also, all the characters sorry both twins are just fucking gorgeous they're beautiful they're really mm-hmm. beautiful okay. yeah Anyways. he's very cute yes. um and so they're all talking and um when you watch it you can see it there's just a lot of dialogue between them and just like them trying to like uh, talk about how they should proceed i guess mm-hmm. from now on um especially like wes has been this whole time too the one who's telling everybody like make sure you carry your mace make sure you do this he's very like paranoid paranoid about <laughs> like, what's going on m- like me mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> Which and is good on him. Yes. Um, and, and so uh, I wish it came in handy. Would have served him well, but no. He was such a good boy. He was. He was like a And puppy. so um, that's whenever, I think after that, do we have the scene with Wes being at home? Yes. Yeah. So what happened in that scene, though, they said, we have to be careful for the people who are the legacy mm-hmm. people. And that's he right. goes, well, my mom. And that's when we figure out that he's Judy's son. Yes. yes. Oh, and we also figured out that um, the dude, the greaser, mm-hmm. was. Um, oh, he skipped his death. That's right. He died, you guys. He got <laughs> murdered. He got boinked. He got dead. He was pissing on a wall and had his arm up all weird. And then, yeah, then. Went to his vehicle and then got stabbed. I felt like his death back. was slightly reminiscent of someone's death, too, mm. when I was watching it. But honestly, again, could have deaths. done without his yeah, character as a whole. We get his thread being that he was Stu's nephew. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. so the character the, or the killers were killing people who were related to legacy characters yeah. in some way. That makes sense. Um, And that was Stu's sister's son. Okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. So that was the thread. But also, too, I do feel like if we, they would have kept that out, it, it wouldn't have made a big difference I or not. I still would have been like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm more focused on. What else is going on over here? Yeah. Randy's to the actually people that were, you know, in watching. In the friend group. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. just some random fuck boy. Exactly. And so. Um, but we didn't yes. have any stakes in it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Which this movie is kind of basically all about stakes. Mm-hmm. Like, the high, higher the stakes, you know? Yes. Um, And so, yeah, we have... This is where we figure out that Wes goes, oh, yeah, well, right. 
it maybe Judy. would be me. Yeah, because his goes, mom is Judy Hicks. to figure out who's next to be killed. And mm-hmm. then, yes. And so then it pans, goes to him in the house, and... Well, we first have Judy, right? Because it has the whole scene of where she's, like, in the kitchen, and that's the right. door opens, and she doesn't know who quite that's it right. is. She's like, hello? Yes. And then he doesn't say anything, because he's just like me. He's got an Apple AirPod in, and he can't hear anything <laughs> he with those things. Shit. And yeah. so she almost stabs him because she's like, oh, my God. And so because she's like, I've been ready. I've done been that like mm-hmm. mm-mm. she had that knife out. She's like, I got shot by one of these motherfuckers. Yeah, she's got that knife ready. She was ready. She and didn't so hesitate at all. The moment she heard that door open, she was like, she pulled that knife, bunny or something, whatever yeah. the fuck she called him. Uh-huh. It felt like bunny vibes. Um, and then, yeah, she was just like, shink. <laughs> and um, then. You know, we have him. But also, he didn't fucking lock the door behind him. What the hell kind no. of son is he? And then. But maybe he was already there. Already. And that's yeah. who came in. And so it's the way that she's going to go pick up food. And she'll probably be like back in 10 minutes. But she says till she tells him to take a shower. And at that point, I would have been like, you're coming with me. Mm-hmm. We're going to pick yes, up food. Yes, I had heard. But she probably just thought because he walked through or walked back in not long. She was probably just like, oh, it was just him. But I mean, but with still how- with everything going on. Like, yeah, I would have been... suspected like, no, I know my son knows better than to just leave the door open. Or I would have just been like just paranoid parents. So, yeah, if we're, if I'm me. just going and I'm going to be back in 10 minutes, mm-hmm. you can take a shower when I get back. Granted, they probably still would have been married, but I don't, but still, you, know. you don't need a murdered, <laughs> murdered, sorry, <laughs> Bill murdered. Um, and so <laughs> Bill freaking Murray, <laughs> you shot Bill Murray. <laughs> um, and so. Yes. But yes, I agree. Like, also, just fucking eat the sushi, kid. Like, yeah. you can take a shower afterwards. That's fine. I ain't going to be smelling you while we eat. And so he takes a shower, and that's when we have this whole scene of she's leaving, but she gets a call from Ghostface in mm-hmm. the car and, like, the police vehicle, and he's toying with her. And, and she's in her, okay, oh, her boobies. Yeah, her, her, her boobies. I noticed her boobies. I was like, I am, okay, I was like, still like, mm, I don't really like you judy Hicks. I, whenever she was in the kitchen yes but mm-hmm. them two, were she was out. in her nice little workout gear and her push-up and it bra push it up it's like this one does for me right now yeah it made them look really nice you can't tell because i'm in a sweater she was looking good i was like miss judy like, hicks i think i even leaned over to ryan and was like her titties look real good mm-hmm. <laughs> and ryan was like oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> weirdo i was like why are you looking at <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh yeah and so anyways we we have the, this whole scene of him toying with her and um he then gets to basically say like uh, well something along the lines of you're giving me just enough time like to get west basically mm-hmm. um and so she <laughs> literally pulls a yui she, she does she that flips some lights so on fast. so fast almost creates traffic mm-hmm. accidents yeah because she's trying to get to west um and we and get this whole scene of she, him in the shower and she, i appreciate I it greatly she, Oh, yes, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I love that she had the call traced. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was trying. She, was, trying. she mm-hmm. was really trying. Um, but then, yes, the moment he started, I was like, mm-hmm. show us a little more. They got pretty low close. There. Mm-hmm. They did. They got really low. And I was like. So it's the way that it's building up this hype because <laughs> he's in go. the shower and you think it's going to be a psycho scene. And that gets referenced by Ghostface as he well. Does. And so. Oh, I loved that. Then she, Call back to coming, uh-huh. Loomis and well, so for all of them. Yeah. Oh, and uh, someone's Samantha's last name was Carpenter. Carpenter. Samantha, yeah, Sam, Sam Carpenter. Tara, uh-huh. Their last name is Carpenter. That's right. And so, um, and then we have Wes being named Wes. Wes. Um, oh, and, and also at some point, I don't remember where I saw it. Um, they were driving, and um, there was one of the streets named Elm Street. Oh, good. Yeah. So it was like a little like yeah, nice tidbit there. That's nice. Um, but yeah, they um. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, Judy, whatever, is on her way rushing back to get to mm-hmm. Wes. And then he gets out of the shower and he's in the house. She's still not home yet. Um, And it's the way. Oh, no, it's the way that she gets just home. She gets home. She while he's still in the shower. Yeah. But as she's running up the stairs to run into the house, Ghostface comes out of nowhere. And I was also, too, like the, the gall and like the nerve and like the wow. In a broad, broad daylight, daylight. Just guts her. Motherfucker. On, on the front, front lawn. lawn. Just gutting her. Yes. And I'm like, how is nobody driving by? He, Nobody's seeing this. Exactly. Because he's, or they stabbed her. Mo- really a lot of times. So <laughs> much. <laughs> they were going ham. Mm-hmm. Just ting, 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 to like fucking, bitch had to have had like at least 20 stabs. Give me Amber vibes. Yes. Because she seemed oh, like she really enjoyed yes. the guilt. Yes. Um, 
because she was also the one who did do Ian. Mm. I know. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, we have... And the way that she gutted him exactly like Stu said, from groin to sternum. Uh, yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Front and back. Oh, man, it was bad. And so, um, yeah. Sorry, I cried. She, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And so, yeah, she gets whacked off. And then we got Wes coming out. He's kind of getting everything set for his mom to come home to eat with the food. And then... Um, First off, yes. Mm-hmm. Best best boy award. Setting those little plates out yeah. and everything. He was doing so well. And then I loved the, like, what, three to at least three, possibly four, where he's looking in something, closes yes. the door there's scare. There's, like, two, th- there's two they, de- jump scares that they're trying to get you it, with. Yes. Three. My yes, bad. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. It happened multiple times. Yeah. They were just edging it you the, the fuck cabinet, out. It was the cabinet. It was the fridge. Yeah, because he looks in the pantry, mm-hmm. cabinet, fridge. And then the front door. Mm -hmm. And then he does a smart thing, I guess, ish. And then finally, like, closes the door and locks it. But at this point, you already know Ghostface is in the house. Turns around and bam. Stabs. I I really loved this kill. Stabs him. So good. So well done. The The way that it looked. Yeah. It looked so fucking real. little jugular. And then coming through the other side. The way that you could see it, like, Protrude through the skin. Poking on the skin. And then it it emerges. Mm -hmm. And it was like. It was awesome. It and then was the way good. Ghostface pulled it just out so like cleanly and fast. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Had they not given him probably uh, okay, him and Dewey. Mm-hmm. The two that that kill was so simple, mm-hmm. but so good. Mm-hmm. I really loved it. Again, Dewey's the practical no. Oh, his Wes's. kill. Wes's kill, yeah. I was like, had they not given Very him the so. best kill, because his name is Wes. Yeah. But also with Dewey because yeah. Dewey is fucking Dewey. Um, Dewey Dewey got dead, dead. Dewey died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like there was no that motherfucker dead. Um, it was bad. Yeah. But this one was it was really good. I I loved it. It was it, him and Dewey arguably best kills in the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's when we get. Um, uh, oh, yeah, this is right after this. Um, obviously, they're dead, so we get a, you know, crime scene, mm-hmm. and that's when we get reunited with Gail Weathers. Yeah, She's Gail coming comes. back, and she sees um, Sam out, and she's just like, they're like, oh, you know, oh, she didn't make it. I know her son kind of thing. And that's whenever, um, which, oh, Sam says about Judy, yeah, she didn't really like me. Yeah. And then she's Gail like, was like, like, she, she didn't, didn't like me either. either. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a really funny callback and joke, yeah. too. I and so, I did um, too. and yeah, so we get Gail then reuniting with Dewey Riley, and mm-hmm. it's the way she also like she's like, "I'm Gail Riley. Riley." I mean, Weathers. Weathers. And yeah. So and it was like, so this you is know that moment that we were talking about earlier. She still has. They still have feelings for yeah. each other. Oh yeah, clearly. Then they have a long history together, yes. and probably a lot of trauma, <laughs> like oh, bonding. Oh my god! Yeah. Yes. So much trauma bonding. Yeah, and ugh, it was it was good. Um, and so yeah, they're. Uh, they're reunited and they kind of had this whole moment that we talked about earlier. Um, they're just kind of like, you know. Very heated, very passionate. Mm-hmm. Again, drawn on a little too long, but mm-hmm. it wouldn't be a screen film without it. Yeah. Uh, I, I do feel that is one of the, like, key points. And of it's a, a pivotal scene right before what happens next because then we have him going to the hospital, right? Ex- to help. Yes. So, um, Sam. It, cause this gets- is, again, why I think this scene was so important. I was glad. The cheesy as it was, I was glad that it happened, that they had this slight little closure. moment of closure, mm-hmm. knowing that what was they about still cared about each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yes, so Sam gets a call from Tara, because at this point, it has kind of switched over to Tara. Mm-hmm. Again, fucking Halloween 2, vacant as fuck, yeah. hospital dark, in the middle of the fucking day. Yeah. You know it was in the middle of the fucking day because Sam and Dewey hop in the car. It's happening in right broad now in daylight, real time. Yeah. Right after this murder. Yeah. But yet all the lights are off. Everything's gone. No one Maybe is there. Maybe they did it. I don't know. Maybe well, the they did. did. We it, find yeah. one of the security guards. Yeah. Fucking dead. dead. And mm-hmm. that's when, so Sam, okay, oh, that's right. Sam looks over. She sees daddy cop. Vincent, Deputy yeah. Vincent, Deputy Daddy. Mm-hmm. She sees Deputy Daddy and she goes, Why the fuck are you not at the crime scene? Why are you not I mean, at the protecting my yeah. sister? Yeah. That is literally, your literally, job. that is your fucking job. Yeah. And she's like, What the fuck? And he was like, My sheriff was just murdered. Of course I'm here. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, 
A, I kind of get you. I'm only probably understanding you because you're hot. Yeah. That's a red flag of mine. That's it. But B, no. I'm sorry. Your job comes when you are a person of the law. Mm -hmm. You're you're literally you just sacrificed another human because you went to go see this already dead person. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're already fucking dead. And they didn't. They don't need no help. They don't need no help. There's nothing you can do. They're fucking dead. Yeah. So you protect the one who's there, and that's when Sam's like, "Uh -uh. uh-uh. I'm getting in the car. Yeah. And that's when we see Tara. Well, in this whole sequence, Tara's at the hospital. She hears that the door's opening, all the lights turn turned off. And so then she gets out of her bed and she's like, you know, trying to will. And it's really cringe. Was she not? She was watching a horror film too, wasn't she? I can't remember. I feel like maybe there was some, I think she, was it not the Babadook? I feel, the Babadook has another callback at, at the some end. point. At the okay, end. Okay, it's at the she's end. like, I, I really prefer the Babadook still. Okay, that's mm-hmm. right. It mm-hmm. was at the end. I was yeah. like, I know it comes back a second time. Yeah. But yes, oh God. Yeah, when she was getting up, I was like, girl, girl, you've just been sad like 80 yeah. times. You really feel her pain because she's really such a good actress. And so you can see it. Like she's mm. really doing well portraying that. And, and she so. got stabbed through the hand mm. in the beginning. And mm. so she that gets part. into the, so mm-hmm. not only we did mention her ankle snap, but at one of the points she tries to block the knife and it goes through her hand. Yeah. And, and so she's trying to will and like you can see the blood and like the wound is obviously getting agitated. The yeah. And it just, God, it's it not has to hurt it's so fucking open wounds. Much. Yeah. And so yeah. she's trying to make her way through the hospital. Um, and she um, finds that dead uh, deputy there. And so mm-hmm. she's freaking out. She tries to get the gun, but he has no gun. So she's trying to wheel away. And at that point, that's whenever Richie comes. Richie because she tries to, she's hiding in, in one of the hospital rooms. And Richie opens the door like, hey. And she's like, oh, my God. And she almost hits him with the, no, she does hit him with the phone. Mm-hmm. And then that's whenever Ghostface comes in. Because at first she's like, where were you? And it's making you question him. But mm-hmm. then Ghostface comes in and attacks him. So then you're obviously kind of like, well, maybe it's not him. Yeah, I still thought it was but, him. <laughs> no, but it's the way that. So I was leaning both ways because he got slashed in the arm, mm-hmm. which is very much call like back to Jill, who got slashed in the arm, and to and scream, scream to, to her boyfriend. boyfriend. But he wasn't the killer. That's true. So that's why I was like, it was a fifty fifty mm-hmm. because I was like, well, it happened to Jill, but it also happened to not the it's killer. It's really making you, yeah. I just so had I some like, sort of internalized bias where I was like, no, nah, I don't trust this mm-hmm. motherfucker. It was, him but all the time. otherwise, that would have had me toying as well yeah that so it's good. like it could or it could not be him for those both obvious reasons so it's yeah. like it could lean, lean either way and the way that they so then sam gets the call from ghostface as she's speeding towards the hospital mm-hmm. with dewey dewey was like i'm gonna bum a ride because yeah. obviously you need some more fucking help because homeboy just d- ditched his post yeah and so so he's coming and and, and ghostface does this, and then at this point um then, he's making her choose. Yeah, because he's basically trying to make Sam choose between Richie or Tara, if mm-hmm. like who to kill. And oh god, he's so really just, fucking up Tara again. She, now. Yeah, poor Tara. Yeah, God. Throughout this whole movie. Whole, yeah. Throughout the whole movie. Poor um, Tara. <laughs> yeah, like literally, poor she's girl. Like, she was the like pawn. She, she was, was literally their like pawn. a little punching bag. The yes. Whole time. They were just like, how can we fuck up Tara? To because it was gonna affect Sam. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. then we um, have her on the floor crawling away, which the scene is just so brutal. And then it finally is. Sam is like, I was just stalling. And she opens up the yeah, elevator door. Yeah, she's like, door. oh, I was just stalling, motherfucker. And I and was like, shoots oh. him. <laughs> it's this whole scene. And then finally um, we get Dewey shooting um, Ghostface. Mm-hmm. And Ghostface crashes into like this cabinet area thing. And it's like, I would look like a fucking trophy I case. was like, yeah, it did. Very high school. I was like, and what? So, yeah, I was like, are we in a high school or is this a... Hospital. Hospital. And so they Dewey gets everybody to the elevator, but he stays behind because he's like, I'm going to go shoot him in the head. You always have to shoot the killer in the head. Yeah. And, and at that moment, I was like, and Dewey's dead. Yep. Dewey's dead. And then Dewey, Dewey obviously dead. goes, and right before he pulls Even the- Ryan leaned over at this point and was like, there goes Dewey. Yeah. And I was like. Uh, oh, because <laughs> Dewey gets a phone call and is distracted for a moment. And then, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it goes, just gets up. In the, because and, it was Gail. And guts, Gail was calling to see yeah. where he went. So Gail's name pops up. Because he goes right up to the killer, and instead of shooting the kill shot in the head right then, waits for a whole second. Yeah, he yeah. waits for just a second. He and hesitates. Get that phone call. Gets the phone call. Sees Gail's name. Obviously, he's got such an emotional tie to Gail yeah. that that is going to t- essentially displace him, just like take his body from the situation that it's in, mm-hmm. because he's got so much trauma associated with her yeah. slash love and everything for her. That yeah, I mean, life or death or not, like. This thing that he cares about arguably equally as much because it's 
kind of clear he doesn't have much. Yeah, that's all he has. Resolve for his own life. Mm -hmm. Like he he's not sitting there uh, taking the best care of himself. Yeah, and so. Well, even in the way that he's already enough. willing to to like put himself in the line of fire, like, mm-hmm. all right, let's go do this shit. And so, yeah. Then, just like we said earlier, as Stu mentioned on the water on the iconic water fountain scene, the um, they go, "How do you gut someone?" He goes, "Well, you gut them from groin to sternum." Mm-hmm. That's what they did. Yeah, to do it was really literally brutal. like, and it was slow. Yeah, they he really milked suffered. Milked it. He. Did. And then Ghostface is like, it was an honor, and which I really loved. Yes. And I was like, it was damn, an I was honor. like, good, yeah. good. But then also, ugh. and I didn't cry then. Mm. I cried when Gail found out. Mm. When we saw Gail sitting in the hospital, hospital waiting, waiting room, room. And she started talking about it. And I was like, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and I her and Sam. legit had two tears come out my face after Ryan. I was like, I bet you I'm actually fucking crying. He was, I was like, what? I was pretty sad. I was pretty sad. <laughs> I was pretty sad. <laughs> Um, I, I didn't upset. cry, but it was really, it was really sad. I was, and whenever he was dying, I was like, oh, fuck. I was almost in like disbelief. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. This like is, we're yeah. killing off Dewey. Like we're killing mm-hmm. Dewey. Wow. We're this, killing. This <clears throat> is happening. Is this real life? Wow. We're killing <laughs> Dewey. All right. We're killing like, literally the whole we time. We went there. We're okay, okay. killing Dewey. Like, oh, they really ain't fucking this around. This is not this a drill. <laughs> they weren't. Yeah. Because in every other movie. Uh, or at he's least got two. A, at he, least in he, two, or he almost dies, mm-hmm. and then it's like, oh wow! Like so, this they one. faked us once, and then faked us again, and the, they faked us in the first one, and faked us in the second one. Mm-hmm. That's what it was, and then they stopped doing that. Um, but yeah, fool me um, once, yeah, shame on me. What? It's the way shame that in the you. fourth <laughs> one they faked us out with Gail because we thought mm-hmm. Gail died. That's true. Yeah. Um. Oh God, man, it was it was rough. I was upset. Oh, Dewey. To Dewey, oh, to let's Dewey. raise one. Boom, our Cheers. our man. Um, and so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dewey's dead, <laughs> and we have uh, <laughs> Sam and Miss uh, Welder just talking, and um, then right after that, which is just kind of a little, you know, she's just giving her condolences basically, yeah. and then she gets called back because Tara wants to see her or something like that, or her, she's awake. Um, but then Sydney, Sydney shows, shows up. up, and she starts talking to Gail, and. She's, you know, obviously it's so nice. It's obviously like I love the moment that Gail recognized her too, because you saw in between them like the love and like, mm-hmm. like man, like you and you, the way that they love Dewey as well. Like damn, like they, they were love, hurting. Yeah, and then also they're the only two now. Yeah, they're the only survivors Ugh. from the original. They've been through so much shit. So together. many people died, and now we've got two badass fucking women mm-hmm. coming at it together. And honestly, in Scream Six, if they're not together, I'll maybe Ben. Yeah, I'll just say it right now. I'm gonna be Better men. not CGI them in. Yeah. And so, um, then we have uh, a confrontation between. I'm well, Sam out. wants to. <laughs> Sam, right? Sam wants. We're still gonna watch it. And Sam wants to take um Tara away. She's like, we're gonna get out of this town. Um, and so we have Sydney then talking to Sam, being like, wherever you go, if you it's leave, gonna follow it's you. gonna follow She's you. She's like, bitch, I try. And they won't rest until you're dead or they're dead. Mm-hmm. So, and I love how. Um, Sam is like, I'm leaving and you should leave too. And I love how Sydney, especially in the sign, is like, I'm a mom. I have kids now. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to rest until this guy is dead. In the fucking ground. In the ground. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Gave me very like Laurie Strode vibes from the new Halloweens, mm-hmm. but like, I don't know, better for me anyways. Um, and so it was just really cool um, and really nice to see like her as a mom. Ca- yeah. And, and her, it was Mama a very mom bear vibes. Moment. And then also too, it's just like in the, the arc of the character from all these movies into now, like you can, she was already, she was like, mm mm. I ain't get, I ain't Listen no here, games. you little shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, Sam, motherfucker. Because Sam is like, so you want me to like Sam help you commit murder? a little bit rude to her at first, and I was yeah. like, uh. Oh, because Gail had to be like, respect who you're talking to. Yeah. I was yeah. like, we, we, don't, we don't talk to Sydney Prescott that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's the way that like Sydney's just like, I'm going to murder this person, so mm-hmm. help me kill them. And so, because she's And just, then both her and Gail are like, I don't see the issue. Yeah. Like. like yeah, yeah, murder this fucking. He's murdering all your friends. Yeah. yeah, murder this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm sorry if someone came through and was killing all of our wall group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got t-shirts. We got two t-shirts. Booby doo for our friends. Booby doo doo. I got it on. Josh is wearing it right now. Um, um and so yeah, you know, I'm gonna kill anyone who yeah. comes and is killing y'all off. Fuck y'all. So it's not fuck uh, y'all. No, but fuck yeah, that yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, we then. Sam's like, no, nah, I'm still going to leave. We're getting out of town. And it's the way that even at this point, I was kind of like, okay, dude is like really eager to leave. Like, that's us. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Richie. 
And so and yeah, he was he was overplaying it too much because especially when they were in the car and she Tara didn't have Her first off first off Sydney put a tracker on the on car, the car. Yeah. which is a big moment a big it, it's a important fit mm-hmm. information not a super pivotal scene yeah. but just important to know but they're leaving town Tara, as we found out is in the beginning, is asthmatic. Yeah. So she needs her inhaler, and she's like, "I have a spare one at Amber's." Mm-hmm. And so they went. And she wants to go to Amber's, and Sam's and, like, "Okay." And but he's like, he's like no. "No, I don't want to stop." And then finally, he's like, "Okay, fine." And then they go to Amber's, mm-hmm. right? And at this point, we have Sydney and Gail tracking them, so they're trying to get all the way over there. Um, and then we see that Amber's having a fucking house party. Oh, while her friend is in the hospital, and. Well, it was supposed to be a Other memorial have for just been, Wes, yes. but it turns into a party. But obviously, it was pro- obviously going to be a party. Yeah. But obviously, she planned that um, because it plays homage to, and obviously, this mm-hmm. house that they're going to the house. is Stu Mocker's house from the original. Mm-hmm. So, and I loved all the camera work that they did when they were it, in this house and honestly, to the house. Because, okay, yeah, beforehand, I was like, something about this house feels familiar because they don't show you. They mm-hmm. don't show you until uh, there's a big reveal, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Um, and but then like the vibes in it, I was just like, oh, something something feels familiar. Yeah. And then once they get to the entryway, yeah. I swear to God, they were like, let's find the exact rug yeah, that Stu's literally. family had. They left it. A lot of that stuff is still there. The wall yeah. color, everything was the same. Yeah. Maybe I I feel like it was. No, a lot of stuff is yeah. still the same. They haven't changed it because of like, that purpose of damn. like of its what its its legacy. Um, that's, that's fucking weird. It's owned by some farmer now. I'd probably do it. Yeah. The actual house? The actual house, yeah. Is it in it's California just, for real? It's in California for real. Oh my God, let's mm-hmm. take a road trip. We should go. Let's go yeah. right now. They, I think that it's a, air, <laughs> you, it's probably expensive, but I think they rent it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can stay there. Madame Laveau's and mm-hmm. American Horror Story <gasps> Coven. Oh, mm-hmm. That one is an Airbnb and oh. LA. Um, nope. New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. LA. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to go to the Hotel Cecil. Yes, I do. Hotel well. Cortez. Well, um, and so, but um, didn't it, is the Cecil still actually up? I think so. I think it's just not functioning anymore. Mm. I feel like at one point they were going to demolish it, though. It's yeah, attached to it. Gotta... It's attached to another. Um, there was a whole like documentary on, I think, like 2020. It, it's still up. It's like got renovated and it's attached to another. Uh, I was supposed to say hospital. Oh, okay. uh, you're talking about the actual the what's her face who died in the water tank. The yeah, but the yeah, Hotel yeah. Cecil yeah, documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Isn't that yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. It, they it had renovated at that point, and mm-hmm. I just didn't know if they had like officially shut it down to where you can't stay there anymore or mm-hmm. what. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Anyway, at this point, they probably keep it up in the cash in on people who like us who like to go. Yeah, stay at I mean, I would definitely hotels. go to Skid Row to stay in Hotel Cecil. Mm-hmm. I'm the Cecil Hotel. Like, Richard and so, Ramirez was here. What? Literally. And so then uh, we have yeah, uh, this whole scene of this whole house party happening. Uh, it's in honor of Wes, and I love how they cheer to Wes in it because yeah. it's also a callback to Wes Craven. Who's it's just a away. whole big old scene of their hands going together with beers, mm-hmm. and they're going for Wes. And yeah. it was like, it. I had my little water bottle. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, for Wes. <laughs> in the theater with him, and I just I thought that was that was such a good scene. And then I liked that the especially at the ending credits too. The first words oh, yeah, were yeah, just yeah. for Wes. Wes. Yeah, and I was like, in the old kind of title sequence, credit mm-hmm. sequence type of lettering. Um, and so, um, yeah, we have this whole house party going on, um, the whole kind of uh, vibe of of, like the kids, like hanging out, um, Amber is kind of giving like, this was supposed to be a memorial and now it's a party, but like, oh, whatever, like it's a party. Yeah. And then, um, we have Mindy in the same living room as, uh, Randy was in, and then that was in the movie and stab. And so it's all meta, 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 and all the like. It's mm-hmm. basically a reenactment of and this, the original. Uh, I will say this living room did look just different enough that mm-hmm. I didn't quite recognize yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. then the basement. Well, because they went different. to the basement because it wasn't a garage. Yeah, it wasn't a garage. It yeah, was yeah, a basement. It's a basement. Yeah. But yes, Amber goes down there to get beer because, and then Mindy was like, Mindy had said like, "Are you going to get more beer or something?" And Amber was like, "I'll get it." And then Mindy. As we her. find, follows her down there and it's like, why didn't you ask me to come with you? Kind of thing. Like, that was your mistake. Mm-hmm. You'd be dead. Yeah. You'd be dead. Yeah. And so then at that point, it kind of makes you think it's Mindy. And then I love. Their little interaction. It, well, yes. But on the corner of the wall, 
was it was literally just it's like that thing like when you're asleep at 3 a.m. or something and you wake up in your clothes piled in the chair yeah. looks like a woman sitting yeah, there. Yeah. They had this black sheet covering I what that. I am assumed was maybe like a rake or mm-hmm. something. But then there was a little white piece of fabric over it. So it looked just enough like ghost face. From the peripheral, yeah. Yes, it, and crazy. it was in the corner. And mm-hmm. it was in there the whole time. It never moves or does anything. Yeah. But I do. Uh, I, if it wasn't intentional, whatever, good job. But it was there enough that I noticed it and was like, that's a nice little, because then it's like almost like, yeah. oh, fuck, is ghost? Because you don't know. It psychs you out. He pops out from nowhere. It psychs you out. Yeah, and yeah. so the whole time I was like, oh, shit. Is it, oh, where's he going to come from? Where's he going to come yeah. from? And oh, then she crazy. closes the fridge door, and that's when Mindy, Mindy pops, pops up, up right? Yeah. So we do get the fridge door scare mm-hmm. there, which is like. And it's very. Because uh, like, they psyched us out Tatum. so many times with Wes, too. Yeah. And it's very Tatum. It is. This and is so they're having this little interaction. Where who Mindy like, is very mm-hmm. much a Tatum. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And they're like, you're the killer. No, I'm the killer. No, I'm the killer. No, you could be the killer. Yeah. It's, it's really weird. So it's like, then, and it just plays it into like, you, you don't question know everything. who it is. Yeah. yeah. And so then they finally go up the stairs and then we're back into the party. And that's whenever, um, oh, freaking um, Chaz leaves because he's trying to find his girlfriend because she got upset because she was finally trying to sleep with him. But he's like, I don't know if you're, I'm, I'm like 95% killer. sure that you're not the killer, but you might be. Honestly, fucking kudos to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because at this point, always suspect the love injuries. You mm-hmm. can't trust anyone. Yeah. In this world, no, you yeah. can't. Because, it, not this world, but in, in the, the screen, screen franchise, world. Yeah. And also in real life. Yeah. You can't trust anyone. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I, feel that. I was like, the moment he said that, and she got so upset, which, yeah. honestly, I would too. If you are H word. Yeah. But, like, just, she, uh, I, I had to applaud him in that moment. Mm-hmm. I was like, good job, Chad. Mm-hmm. Good job. You're, you're fucking Chad. Yeah. He's being smart. But thank you for calling that out. Well, up and he, he's not smart. Uh, ultimately because then um he's goes out to look for her because he made her mad and yes so at the very beginning in that high school the little scene before they go to see tara for the first time Mm -hmm. he's trying to get her to share her location with him yeah um like i find my family or what's that Mm -hmm. that life 360 or whatever something like that it's one of those apps 360 or something like that yeah where you can view someone's location location at any point in time which is like iPhones, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I share locations like if I'm going to someone. Yeah. But otherwise, like no one has my all location yeah, no. all the time. Some That's people just do that. Yeah. Kind of weird. I remember my father asked me to do that once, mm-hmm. and I was just like, no, no. <laughs> I don't need you to know where I am at then. all times. Yeah. Yeah, but then like ultimately, uh, if I was getting murdered, it could that come would be handy. a good handy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should share that with someone. With someone trusted, who yeah. you won't feel will be like stalking Josh, you. Josh, you gonna murder me? No. I'll share it with you. Okay. Okay. Works out. <laughs> and deal. Yeah. Um, but, like, so she had finally, as he went to go search for her, he got mm-hmm. a notification that said she had begun sharing her location with him. Yeah. And so he's using his phone, this app, to search for her mm-hmm. outdoors. And it leads him into shrubs, which is, I would have been yeah. sure, I would have uh, been which, like, and then he's I like, think the fuck well, not. And he says, like, nah. This is sus. So yeah. Then, like, as soon as he's backing away, though, he gets attacked mm-hmm. by Ghostface. And then, you know, he gets a good one in on Ghostface, and he gets to get away, but not before Ghostface stabs him in the leg. So yeah. he's, like, injured really bad, actually. He's bleeding mm-hmm. a lot. And he's trying to get away. Um, And, yeah, it's this whole scene with him but holding then the phone, the he tracker. he knows Ghostface has the phone now. The location, yeah. And so they're, like, going back and forth. But he can't turn, like, with the blood on his fingers and everything, much like the opening sequence mm-hmm. with the unlocking and locking of the doors. He's having trouble stopping this sharing. Yeah. And s- to the point point where he just eats his phone. Yeah. He's like... It's gone. He chunks it. Yeah. And he decides to then run... He's at the back, back of the in house. in the same direction, which I'm like, oh, yeah, I know, Lord. run the other way. <laughs> yeah, and then Ghostface comes out of a shed and attacks him and starts stabbing him until these headlights beam on Ghostface and Ghostface yeets away out of there and it just happens to be Sam and Richie and Tara. Yeah, and in. that's when they make it to the party. And they come in and they're ultimately skeptical of the fact mm-hmm. that a party is happening. Like, yeah. hey, Amber, we need you to go get her spare inhaler also why the fuck are you having a party party. yeah what the hell and then at this point again i was like yeah no something between the two of them 
with the way up. that he was immediately like, okay, everybody out, mm-hmm. everybody out, starts flashing the yeah, lights yeah. and stuff. Just like Stu. Mm-hmm. The party's over. You got yep. time to go. Same vibes. Yeah. And so it's so good, so yeah. good, so good. Um, And then Amber goes upstairs with, mm-hmm. does Tara go with her? Tara goes with her. Yeah. Because so they're going to go get the inhaler. And because Tara trusts her, mm-hmm. and rightly so, it's her best friend and at a, this point. Yeah. And so she goes up with her, and then that's whenever we get a scene of, oh, um, what's her face? Uh, Mindy is Mindy. in the living room. And that's yes. whenever she's, like, watching the same scene where Randy's, like, being, like, look and behind you. And she's, like, turn you, around, turn around. You. So it was, and like, so finally, Inception. Mm-hmm. Movie Inception within a movie within, within a movie. movie. And yeah. so that's when we were thinking, like, turn around, girl. And she, she actually does. She turn around, and she does. Yeah. And she's, like, oh, oh fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> and she gets attacked a little bit, um, but... Um, at that point, that's whenever he gets. Then, who attacks Goface? Sam. Sam comes in. Um, I, th- uh, I think so. Sam comes in and um, tries to fend off Ghostface, and then that's whenever someone or finds her. I think Ghostface had like left just in time, and then so she finds Mindy down that's on right. the ground. That's right. Amber comes back through and mm-hmm. is like, oh, and at this point, Liv had already come in looking for Chad, mm-hmm. and Mindy was like, yo. Chad left looking for you. How do I know you're not the killer? And then Liv gives us real sus vibes by being like, hey, you're going to yeah. get gunned next <sighs> kind of thing, like slicing her thumb across her throat kind of thing. Yeah. Real like, mm, yeah, no, I still don't trust this bitch. And then she leaves again to go find Chad. And then as this is happening, yes, Sam comes in. She finds Mindy. Amber comes down, is pointing fingers at Sam and being like, why like you're here with this bloodied victim Mm -hmm. and then Liv runs in and is like what the hell and her hands are now covered in blood because she found chad because she found chad and so then it's this kind of like point and like who's doing it who's doing it at this point what's his face (laughs) is downstairs richie richie but he comes up just in time he comes up just in time because they're like it's you and it's you and he was like i was eating beer and then that's whenever amber Amber goes well i know it's not you because i'm the killer and then shoots Liv in the head yep and i went called it yeah and i love the addition of a of her shooting someone mm-hmm. like i thought it was pretty good it's supposed to be a stab yeah um and so um right through the brain uh-huh. she got that kill shot immediately yep and she shoots live and that's when everybody's like oh shit literally yep. and they <laughs> everybody starts freaking out like because disperse disperse literally because she's got the gun mm-hmm. and then she takes tara away um yeah upstairs i guess or something like that at that point wherever she takes her and this is where Richie comes in and he's like, how do you know? He was like, there's Oh, because this- they go into the basement oh, again. Right, Him yeah. and Sam go into the basement as they're getting away. And that's whenever he's like telling her, like, how do you know? Like, it's not Tara. Mm-hmm. That could be the killer. And that's whenever she's like. And it plants go. that little seed of doubt in yeah. your head. And so like, even, even, even though I was um, like 100% yeah. certain literally from the get that it was him, I still was like. So whenever Sam gets up there and like finds her and is going to uncover her mouth, I was like. Maybe don't do that. I don't, yeah. I don't trust myself that much. Yeah. Like, shit, she might be the bad guy too. So I don't know. She, we have a lot of seeds of doubt here. So then she's trying to get, save Tara, but she it cuts but off. But Tara really would have gotten herself fucked up for this movie. I know, right? But like, so it gave me, it could have been Jill vibes. Like she yeah. was that committed enough to like allow That's this true. to happen. She did do um, some fucked up shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so I was yeah. like, because she could be that psychotic and like have that much resentment because her sister left her kind mm-hmm. of thing. And so like, and she found the same diary and like, this mm-hmm. is like her getting like, I'm going to use these secrets to get you, get you back and yeah. kill you. Um, oh, wait, that's what that scream yeah. says. And so, yeah, we <laughs> have this whole, uh, whole thing of like, um, uh, what happens after? Oh yeah. She goes, she, it cuts off because you don't know if she lets go of Tara just yet um, to kind of keep you in suspense. Mm-hmm. And then that's whenever we have, um, what is it? That's Is that when she gets the call from Sydney and she's like, you need to leave the house now because it's Stu's house. And that's, and that's when you like the big reveal. I love house. that shot. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. I was like, ooh. And so then I was like, how do I look familiar? Um, and then it pans with the her at the base of the stairs. And I was like, oh, fuck it is. Yeah. Oh, fuck it is. And then we have that's whenever I believe Sydney and Gail arrive and mm-hmm. like we have the Amber bitch come running out like I've been stabbed faking it. And I love how 
Amber and, or Gail's like think it's a trap, and Cindy's like, yeah, yeah. definitely <laughs> is. And then Amber's like, fuck it, fuck it, and starts shooting at them and shoots Gail shoots immediately. Gail. Like, mm-hmm. and you're gets like, oh her. crap, like, she gets right Gail shot, gonna die too? shot in the gut. Yeah, I thought she really was. Mm-hmm, I thought too. at that point I was like, they're gonna kill like, them all. Anything's, anything's. I, I thought that they're no gonna rules. they're gonna kill them all, so that way in the future, like it's there's no like having to go back to them kind of thing, you know. But um. Yeah. I would have been kind of new, okay with it's that. It's kind of new blood, you yeah. know, um, which uh, the but new cast was good. Finish. Yeah. And so we have um, all of that, her going back inside because she shot Gail. And then Sydney goes back in with Gail because at first Sydney's like, you need to go to the hospital. And goes like, nah, we're, we're going to finish this. Mm-hmm. And so for Dewey. And so they go for in there Dewey. for Dewey and they go in there and that's whenever what happens. Oh, Sydney. I love how Sydney's going through the house and she's like, you know, trying to find whoever is in there on the phone with Did her. Anyone talk? Oh yeah. Come, Cause she's, yet on, she's not on the phone yet. Mm-hmm. And that's whenever she, um, she does find Richie. Oh, you know what? Cause Ghostface closet. does call her. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's whenever she's like, you know, screw this. And she hangs up and he's mm-hmm. like, wait, don't go. And yeah. <laughs> I love that part. And so, yeah. So she starts shooting all the closets though. Cause she knows I am not playing. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to shoot. Not even look. I'm Point just shoot. shooting. That's Point it. Shoot. She finally shoots in the closet and shoots Richie. Cause mm-hmm. he's hiding in there. And that's whenever Richie's like, I was hiding. And then Ghostface pops out of it. The other Ghostface pops out of the other closet and attacks her. And they go over the stairs. And I'm like, fuck. Uh-huh. Hard fall. Yeah, it was. And so uh, then we have Richie coming to get the gun. <clears throat> and he's like cobbling to get the gun. And that's when he forgot that he does get the gun. And then Sam is like telling him to shoot uh, the Ghostface because they're down on the ground or something at that mm-hmm. point. But he's like, that's when he reveals. Baby, like, it's me. I'm the killer. Yeah, and so I will say I was kind of like, I see where they went with it, especially their little monologue in the kitchen. I was like, okay, crazed fans. I get it. We haven't done this yet. We'll do it. Cool. Yeah, because, yeah, they met on a Reddit forum. <clears throat> Which I kind of felt like gave said. me Scream 2 vibes whenever uh-huh. the mom met, met. Mickey yeah. online. But mm-hmm. it was, yeah. But, yeah, so. A, a, a 2020 version 20, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2022. Fuck. And two. so, yeah. And so. Time is relevant. It's really ties in well. I see how it works, but it was also kind of a little bit underwhelming that it w- But I get it because also throughout the whole thing, I was like thinking like they're not going to make it the love interest because it already was the love interest. But mm-hmm. then it just makes even more sense that they did make it the love exactly, interest because exactly. it just made me even more like doubt mm-hmm. myself the whole movie. So I'm like, okay, it's like the moment that you're like, they want to do this. Then you're like, they no, fucking they did this. And then you're like, oh. They did. And if they would have done anything else, it would have been bad. Yeah. I would have been like, no. Um, and so yeah, it's really um Push is coming to shove. A lot of great acting happens here. Again, this is where we have that redeeming arc of Loomis, Billy Loomis, in the mirror, he's like kind of encouraging Sam to kill him to kill or at least injure mm-hmm. Richie. Yeah. And that's where the redeeming art comes in for his care for Billy. And I, again, just wasn't a fan of that because it's like, no, fuck Billy. Yeah. Just because Sam is good doesn't mean Billy gets to be good. Yep. And just because Billy is bad doesn't mean Sam gets to be bad. Yeah. It doesn't go. Like, yeah. they are two separate human beings. They had yeah. no interaction with each other's life. And so it's just, I wasn't a fan of that point again was just made me be like, uh, no, uh, uh-uh. come on. It turned you off a lot. Yeah, okay. it did. I feel that. Um, but the whole acting and the whole back and forth and, you know, people being missing and everything mm-hmm. through we're, we're getting it pretty long here. Y'all. So yeah. we're trying to <laughs> hurry up. We're hurry just going to cut it um, through the end. But yeah. And so, yeah, maybe you have to go see most of the ending yourself. I mean, you already know that Amber. Yeah, but the end scene, the end sequence, honestly, it builds up. This is a movie that just like a lot of other Wes Craven's films, like it it keeps going. It's never really like a slow moment. And Mm -hmm. it just keeps for me, at least until the final sequence, it's a climax. Yeah. Um, And the final scene between both Amber and um richie as well like was oh also I'm sydney's so been stabbed at this point sydney sydney's yeah, been stabbed or shot again and both everyone's bleeding yeah everyone's oh and you should yeah, wait, but, but i think we should dead. let we sh- i think we shouldn't okay yeah no okay fucking go watch this film so you can see amber's death it's very 2020 it was good very pandemic i was like oh oh yeah it was with the- <laughs> yeah uh-huh exactly it was good and then the yes yeah so the way she went up i was like oh, oh. 
I loved it. I, I hit Ryan in the shoulder and was like, oh, bitch. This is it. Yeah. And it was good. It was just the over the top that it needed it to be f- because it's a fucking fifth film. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, a, it, yeah. And then you needed a second, like, ugh, I mean, they they kill shot mm-hmm, Richie. Mm-hmm. And so we needed. We needed so, yeah, it was, it was a good final little cherry on top. And we get a nice. We get a nice sibling moment between Sam and Tara. Mm-hmm. And then we get also a very similar pan out. out. Mm-hmm. And we also get to see that Mindy and, and Chad costume. survived. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mindy, mm-hmm. Mindy and Chad survived. And yeah. Sam's just kind of walking around willy nilly, even mm-hmm. though she's been stabbed. And then also Courtney Cox or Gail and um, fucking Sydney yeah, were sitting there. Also, kind of unfazed. They're mm-hmm. like, we've There's been, we've yeah. been stabbed. We've been shot before. It's not bring the next guy. Tis but Come a flesh on. wound. Yeah, like <laughs> we're fine. Literally, and like, their body has so much trauma to it. Yeah, and um, so yeah, it was a good ending. It very much was I reminiscent it, it of it the first. Mm-hmm. I I liked it a lot. Um, so on that note, how many how many boos? A four, four. Four. I gave it a four. You didn't hesitate. I love. I gave it. it a four. Yeah. Immediately, I was like, "Okay, this is a four for me." Okay, I, I honestly hadn't thought of a rating, and I feel like maybe I had more to not like about this film, mm-hmm. but I still overall think I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. That I would also give it a four. Yeah. I thought, and then as for the horror for the Scream franchise, I'll give you my. My ranking, if you want, right now. Okay, yes. Let's hear the ranking of From Scream 1 through 5. Le- do we want the least to the best, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so least favorite, Scream uh, 2. 2. Yeah. Okay. Although, take in mind, I love all these movies a lot. Uh-huh. So I just mean it's very, like, this was, like, nitty-gritty, just details. Like I am wondering, like, if our actual boo ratings that we gave for each will we'll reflect align. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Scream 2, last. Scream 3. After that, or okay. before that, <laughs> then Scream 4, mm-hmm. then Scream 5, and then Scream 1. Okay. I really like this one. Yes, I did too. Yeah. I think for me. I know you love Scream 3. Well, yes. Mm-hmm. I loved them all. Right. Scream 2, I, I really did like Scream 2. I think, I love Scream 2. Yeah. But, and I'm telling you, it was really nitty gritty. I, I think th- Scream 4 for you would be the last one. Really? I f- would yeah. it? Okay, now I'm trying to think of which happened in what film. <laughs> oh, okay. So Scream Four had Jill, Jill Kirby. Okay, yeah, I would agree. Scream Four would be the last one mm-hmm. for me. So four, and then I would think I would go three. Mm-hmm. Then five, two, one. Five, two, one. I do yeah. think is the way I would go. Yeah. I mean, two stands for me as a solid sequel. I do now. Looking back at the uh, motives in the who were Ghostface? I don't know. I feel like five would be two for me because mm-hmm. Loomis's mother made sense. Mm-hmm. Homeboy, whatever the fuck his face was, crazy eyes. Yeah, didn't really make much. It sense was for very me. kind of thrown out there. Yeah, it but then I, I guess feel like Scream I say three, that though, and Scream, Scream three, Five is similar. But Scream Three to me it's too, too random. But Scream Three in itself is almost because out of all of them has the most comedy. So it kind of, yeah. out of all of them, Scream 3 is the most comedic mm-hmm. and, and it's undertones. So I feel like that's where it kind of loses its steam <sighs> power as much as the other ones in terms I, and of see, like. I did really like too, I think because Randy dies. Mm. And as much as that hurts, it was. It, the, the payoff. When a major character dies. Mm-hmm. Like us with this one in Dewey. Exactly. Yeah. That's like, I have to give five a higher rating mm-hmm. because Dewey's dead. Yeah. We lost. A pivotal We player. lost. This, yeah. Mm-hmm. Main. A hero. We lost an OG. Yeah. We lost an OG. This one's for Wes and for Dewey. And for Dewey. So, yeah. So yours was two. And for Judy's titties. And for Judy's titties. That's right. And w- baby Wes's abs. Um. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, my mine? Yeah, I forgot what that order was again. Oh, it was three, two. Oh, no. Two, two. three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one. Mm-hmm. And mine was four, four, three, three, five, two, one, five, two, one. Mm-hmm. Yes. So there you go, you guys. If you didn't get it, rewind. Yay. Okay. We actually do have some people who, so Ryan, as I mentioned, went uh-huh. and saw this film with me and I did, we talked about it a little bit after the movie, but then I did ask him for in, in writing yeah. <laughs> one. And he says, um, he says, I mean, I thought it was great. Uh, a good 
like it paid good uh, tribute to the old slasher films. And for a slasher movie, he says I'd give it a solid four out of five. Mm-hmm. Four out of five, yeah. Which awesome. is what we also gave it. Thank you, Ryan. And he says, as an overall horror movie, I'd give it a three out of five. Mm. Just because, yeah. I mean, if you're looking at it subjectively, not from uh-huh. the actual Scream yeah. franchise, sure. That totally makes sense. Um, and then, but with it, that being in mind, yeah, it makes you think of that. And then we also had one other person message us on the Instagram. I see. Oh, okay. Oops. It was someone who's also messaged in before. Um her name is Kesley. Okay. And she says she gives it 3.75 boo, 3.75 out of 5 boos for mm-hmm. Scream 5. Gotcha. She said it was super good and I was on the edge of my seat the whole time, but the reason for killing is pretty overused, she mm-hmm. says. She says needs to stop killing people to make the best stab and have some good old-fashioned murder. Mm. She says, which I agree. And then she had also told me personally, she was like, she was a fan of Ski coming back because she was like, it was hot. And I had to oh, look yeah. it up and I was like, girl, he's 51. Mm-hmm. You are he's 18. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's still young, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's is. crazy. But um, overall, yeah. so a four out of five boos. Solid four. Solid four from you us. You heard it here straight from your boobays. Yeah, Go watch it. For it's a good one. 2022. Especially in the movie theater. It's a good experience. Kind of Wes Craven. If you can. Yes, yeah, yeah. go see it in theaters. If you can, we yeah. understand. It was it was Pandemic fun life. being in there. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So as always, we are in the lovely Rogue Media Network studios. Thank you. They are working overtime for us today. This episode came out late because we just scheduling as a fucking yeah. Then Adult seeing life. something where we have to make an actual time to go for sit the down. show time at the movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. It makes it harder than you just watching it at home. Then just streaming mm-hmm. it whenever you can. Like yeah. you can't go see a movie at six a.m., which is yeah. when I watch <laughs> most of these films. Yeah. For us, so um, yeah, they they're doing a great job. And if you can, please just go support any mm-hmm. of Rogue Media's events and all of the podcasts on their network because mm-hmm. they really, really do are. a great job. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. If you want to continue to support us, you can listen to us on a multitude of streaming platforms. Like Spotify. Biggest ones. Yeah. I don't know why I said it like that, but like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. That's right. And Stitcher, Pandora. All the things. All of the things. YouTube. No, I'm just going to run YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but if um, you are listening yeah. to us there, don't forget to. Rate and subscribe. Because yeah. that's the only way that we can get ahead in life. And review us because all those, the, we read them. We do. We We don't have a lot, (laughs) but we do. I sit there and I I refresh it every day. So please just get me more things to read. Tell us how much you like us. Yeah. Please. please. Yeah. No bad reviews. Um, But also, again, I still feel like we'd make it if we got a bad one. We've made it, you know? Yeah, right? Everybody (laughs) needs one bad review. Um, But yeah, you can also follow along with us and hear about future events that we do Mm -hmm. want to do in the future, not only through us, but also Rogue Media. And that is on Instagram at Boobays Podcast, all one word. Mm-hmm. Um, that's B O O B A E S for your boobays, not your boobabes. That's and, right. Uh, yeah. And I, I think that's all, man. Solid, solid four. Solid Let's get down four. here. I got a pee. Two. All right. Bye, bays. Bye, bye, bays. <laughs>